All right, and welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Towers and Gods. We're here with episode 23, continuing the House Lindquist test, the hunt, and uh, we'll see how that goes today. But as always, I'm joined by our wonderful cast. We have Sun Wu as Wu. Yo, what's good, guys? We have Other Joe as Damien Frog. Finally. You prove yourself worthy, pray for the hunt! I see, I see what you did there. All right, all right. We have uh, Milios is Brack. Today's the day! <laughs> we have Hannah as Eden. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. <laughs> and we have Isaiah as Jong. Yo, yo, yo. Isaiah, are you proud of me? I'm not even tempted to say Gasu anymore. It's just like completely out of my mind. You know mind. what, Joe? I yeah? was just thinking about it this morning while I was in the shower, <laughs> and I am proud of you. I'm Thank very you. proud of you. It, it took uh, some work, but we got it. Wait, you were <laughs> thinking of him in the shower? I see how it is. <laughs> oh, I was hoping you think of me in the shower, but it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I thought of uh, all of you in the shower. Uh, right. Joe, all all equally, right? right? Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure it's equal. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I don't discriminate. <laughs> I'll take comfort in that. I'll take comfort in that. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. Run start, I see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we are here with a new episode. Uh, last time was quite a, quite a, quite an ending. Well, a lot happened in the latter half of uh, last episode. Um, Eden, do you have any thoughts on how things went on your end? <laughs> Um, I agree with Isaiah. We need to buy some weighted Shion dice so this never happens again. Um, right. Uh, yeah, I uh, need much many thoughts and prayers for Eden's sanity because it's mm -hmm. whoosh. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. It yep. did not intend. It did not go how I planned in the slightest. How Hannah planned, not necessarily Eden. Sure. But um. I had such a funny ending that we talked about, Joe, and it would have been hilarious, yeah. but it didn't quite end that way. <laughs> so. No, plans changed, you know? Uh, you can't Just, underestimate the cute little yeah. boy with the toys. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, but like, you know, the Shin Su Chonkla would have been hilarious, but. <laughs> yeah. Here we are. Didn't quite work out that way. Didn't but, quite uh, work out. Yeah, so a lot happened. Uh, any other thoughts from anyone else before we do the recap? Um, I just want to know if you'd be willing to show the camera the all-natural one dice that you were using for Xion's fight. <laughs> it's, a gre it's green, yeah. so it's transparent. <laughs> we have everything that <clears throat> you are using loaded dice. Say. <laughs> I mean, okay, okay. Do you want me to use the blue dice? I have green and blue. I could use the blue. I you want you to use the weighted dice. dice. I mean, I want you to use <laughs> the good dice I sent you. <laughs> oh, the good die. I think it's still in the mail, man. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure she would die. Inside the mailman, what? I'm just saying, she does deserve better. It's no one's fault. It's just the luck of the roll, yeah. but yeah. she, she and keeps getting That's better. how the game so, goes yeah. sometimes, you yeah. know? It is, it Dude, is like, what it is. You, you only notice it when it's the bad rolls, but for example, Victor kind of popped off last episode. Victor kind of, he landed like all his attacks, all right? But he also, so, he also got, sh he got shmooshed pretty good too. Though. Yeah, because he was like, for some reason, tanking all the attacks, even though he's a spear bear, <laughs> but you know, it happens. He may have forgotten he was a spear bear for a minute there, but. <laughs> he did, he did, he, he did. He got through that, you know, he, he learned. <laughs> Next time he'll know. His, his role. This man started with a spear <laughs> and still forgot after becoming a spear bear that he right. was a spear bear. It's like, okay, okay, yeah, okay. It's, it, come it on, happens. cut up some slack. You gotta cut <laughs> oh, the boy some slack. Absolutely. Um, not bound by any roles. <laughs> Great. But uh, yeah, let's do a quick little recap here. Uh, before we begin, I want to remind everybody to like the video. We hit our goal uh, yeah. for last week. So, so shout out to everyone for that. Uh, that was go. great. So like the video if you enjoy the series, you want to see more. Uh, we've talked about doing other kinds of fun videos related to Tower of God or Towers and Gods. So if you want to see that kind of stuff, show us, you know, show some support by leaving a like. Discord's down below if you want to submit your own memes and fan art and all that stuff. But with that being said, I'll go ahead and start the recap. So y'all are in the middle of the, the Lindquist hunt, as they call it. It's not a test, right? It's a hunt. And you are all split up in four different areas. 
you mostly just dealt with a bunch of different combats uh, last episode. So Wu's team, Wu Leaf and Victor, you managed to defeat Roar Lindquist, uh, the uncle of the family. Uh, he was ranked number five, I believe. Uh, you defeated him in combat. Victor's pretty heavily injured. Uh, Wu, you were pretty injured as well. Leaf is relatively unscathed except for a bite. Uh, okay. Strange little bite. Uh, and then we had Eden versus uh, Bo alongside Shion. You managed to defeat Bo. However, Shion almost died. Uh, came a little close, you know, uh, but Eden saved the day. You're currently resting in your room. Uh, Brack, you are currently in the middle of a fight with Leaf Lindquist. Uh, you're putting up quite a good, quite a show. Uh, Laura is now there as well. You're protecting Sil Young, who is currently in the southern room. And then Jong and Damien, you <laughs> defeated Terran the Butler at Checkers, the craziest battle of your lives. And because of it, you can now access the throne room quiz and all that, and you earned a card. Um, and of course, Astrid arrived at the end, and uh, a familiar face uh, decided to show up out of the blue, her scythe impaled through Astrid's chest. So that is where we're gonna pick up. We're gonna pick up with Jong and Damien in the lounge. So let me move the, the map here. And let me play some music. There we go. Oh, has Fluxy got a token? Fluxy has a token. <laughs> there we go. So Jong, I'm sure I don't have to remind you, but we just ended the call. You just uh, heard about everything that happened on Eden's side. There we go. Mm -hmm. uh, Astrid shows up and yeah, Flux Falk is now, you, you see her standing behind Astrid uh, here in the and lounge. Astrid is impaled on a, scy on a scythe now? The scythe is, yeah, it's like the, the huge end of it is just protruding from her chest up towards her face. She alive? Her eyes are wide. You can tell she's like in shock and uh, just a huge gash wound. Uh, you just saw this happen. So it's hard to tell immediately. But Flux stands there for a couple of moments and then pulls the scythe out of Astrid and Astrid collapses under her knees onto the ground and she starts coughing up blood heavily. Hmm. Well, I didn't think you were gonna show up. I sent her a text, Jong, but she said something more, uh, not very helpful, so. But here you are! She's looking at the two of you, and she's just getting this huge smile on her face. And she's particularly looking at you, Damien. Uh, uh, and she slowly starts to walk over towards you while Astrid's just coughing on the ground. Just coughing up blood. <laughs> um... Didn't we deal with, with that situation before we, we get into pleasantries? Uh, okay, so at this point, she's she's pretty close to you, and she's going to try to lean in and kiss you. Uh, How do you respond? Oh! I try and avoid the kiss <laughs> Okay. <laughs> with my frog-like reflexes. <laughs> All right. Is there, she is kinda... there a chandelier? here? <laughs> uh, not in the lounge, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this isn't the time to get froggy. She stops, though. <laughs> Damien, it's so good to see you again. It's great to see you, too. I'm, I, wow. Boundaries, very, very good, very good. <laughs> I see, I see you've been, you've been practicing up. And then she, she slowly extends her arms open and then closes in for a hug around you. I put my arms out. To receive the hug? You feel this like icy chill run up your body. Something you haven't felt. Not not like this in at least four years. Five years. Yep, that's you. And her eye, you know, Jong, you see that her eyes are just closed and she has this huge smile on her face, but then she opens and then gives you a wink. Hello, All right, Jong. Jong, bring her in. Bring her in. Come on. Group hug. <laughs> Jong slowly goes to reach for his sword, which is on his back. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. So at this point, uh, Astrid starts to get up. 
who the hell are you? And you can tell her she's still alive despite this huge gash in her chest. In the middle of my hug, I point at her and I say, Surrender, villain! She looks at you, Jong. You disgraced me. In front of the entire family. All you had to do was say yes to me. And she has this look of fury in her eyes. And then she turns and tries to run out of the room. Can I lighthouse block it? Like with your barrier? Yeah. Uh, sure. So you want to use your lighthouse ability. Okay. Yes. So go ahead and do the necessary rolls for that. Let me pull it up here. Okay, so that's a 3 and a 19. Okay. Three. So wait, so you have to make a lighthouse check with your... Oh, that's that was the lighthouse check? Oh, yeah. I thought I, thought I was using yep. my barrier. My, for sure. My okay, so one of them succeeded. Ability. So go ahead and roll a d6 and then add your wisdom. Uh, seven. Nice. Two plus seven. Five. Okay. So as Astrid tries to bolt out of the room, her high heels clicking on the floor, uh, suddenly Damien's lighthouses shoot towards the door, and shoo, you see this green barrier get created, completely blocking the way. And she kind of stumbles into it for a second. <sighs> the hell? And then uh, Flux lets go of you. She's been hugging you this whole time. Let her go, Damien. No. We should absolutely go for the points. I want to see something. And she's now turning towards Astrid. I want to see where she goes. I don't. We end this now. Oh, gee, Jong, it's so good to see you haven't changed. <sighs> Fine, you can do whatever you want. At this point, Astrid is like pounding at the at the barrier. And Jong mm -hmm. continues to pull out his sword as he walks towards Astrid. Okay. Now, Jong, we shouldn't be too hasty. There's a lot of information to be gained from a living person. Damien, shut up. I mean, I'm correct. You can learn a lot, as, as well as the fastest way to get back to Xion. We don't know much about this mansion. I'm sick of this family. I'm and then, of... I'm sorry, I cut you off. Um, no, you're so, good. You're good. Uh, so as Jong is talking, uh, suddenly you hear, Miss Astrid! Lady Astrid! And then ksh, the barrier breaks as three butlers charge into it and crash into the lounge. And then she quickly tries to tiptoe over them. Uh... Now that they broke through the barrier. Can I use... Yep. Uh, Shin... Or... or, or, or hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gotta remember the name of the attack. Yep. Um, Bolt Trap. Sure. Okay. Like, and would that... Would it... So, would it work? Like, because it's normally a technique... Like, I don't know electricity, how allowing the bang to hide underneath the floor during your turn. So, uh, unfortunately, it would. based on what it is right now, you can only place it like where you currently are at, and then on your next turn, you can like move it. Um, okay, okay, all right, then that's yeah. not gonna work. Yeah, probably. Um, work. All right, then I'm gonna use deadly lightning. Okay, sounds good. So they often make uh, what kind of saving throw? Uh, they have to make a dex saving throw. Perfect. Let me pull up your stats. And then... Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, okay. Uh, this is weird. Holy cow. Uh, they all passed, like, with flying colors. I don't Sorry. believe it. I don't know. I don't believe it. Shut the dice. I don't know what. Those I wrote. Really so, okay. okay. Are not okay. I, what are you I was doing? shaking the oh two 20s God. and 18 and 17, so. Jeez. And that's without adding anything. So, I think we're good. But you're just sure. getting rid of her that easily. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Let me just check your ability here. Uh, it's so I think it's they take three d4 yeah. plus uh intelligence mm -hmm. on a fail and then half that on a save, right? Right, right. So go ahead and roll the damage. Okay, so yeah, still gotta do the that is <laughs> Told you these dice were good. Come on now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, sure. Okay. Same it's like they only work for the enemy. All right, so they take six damage because it was 12. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So what ends up happening is, Jong, you create this quick bang of lightning, a huge bang, and you shoot it out and it explodes uh, instantly. Uh, and 
Right as it's about to hit Astrid, the three butlers all in unison charge in front of it, and they all take the blast, but Astrid is uh, unharmed. Ah, they all here. scream in pain. And then Astrid, you know, surprising speed, she's bolting towards the throne room door. Mm. Mark down the butlers here. Okay. Wait, so were they, they were just hit by it, or were they killed? Just hit by it. Just check. I think it's a smart move to let her be. She's lucky I don't have time to waste on her. He's going to the throne room, which means she assumes it's a safe place. Which means... If I had to guess, the number one person is in there. And then just a huge grin appears on her face, and she just stares at you. And just smiles. Hey. <laughs> what? And judging from that, I guess I'm correct. <laughs> Unless I'm totally wrong. It's one or the other. When Astrid shows up to the throne room door, you kind of you can see it happen, even though she was really quick. The butlers are getting up, and the throne room door opens rapidly. <laughs> the doors open up, and she runs inside, and then they shut with a huge bang. Do the butlers got away too? No, they are still in the room with you. Okay, well, I suggest the rest of you guys surrender. We'll never surrender! You hurt the Lady Astrid. How could you? I the mean, most beautiful woman in the tower! I mean, I didn't, but... This isn't about Astrid, this is about... You guys getting out of here alive. Roll Intimidation. Yeah, yeah okay. Go, Damien. <laughs> 22. Damien's like, it wasn't oh, playing in the Twenty-two. Yeah. Oh, sure. All right. Uh, Nineteen plus three. Okay. So when you say that, they're they start looking at each other. But but, Lady Astrid said she would give us a special treat if we helped her, and uh, you know, we can't now, turn down something from Lady Astrid. Now Lady Astrid ran away and left you guys to your fate. Now didn't she? And then another butler says, what will you do to us? Mm, well, that depends on you now, doesn't it? I'm looking for a friend. A friend who's in... Well, that, that, that detail doesn't really matter. You're going to take me there. Take you there? Yeah. I need a guide. I'm not super familiar with the East Wing. It's one thing for us to not fight you, but we're not going to help you. Well, I mean, I guess I only need one person to guide me, so any of you guys um, want to... Damien, can I handle this? Would you mind? Uh, I mean, sure. Absolutely. She walks up. You know, the scythe is still behind her. She walks up to the three butlers. She smirks. And then in an instant, she whips her scythe around. <laughs> And the middle butler kind of looks around, and then the two on the sides, their heads just roll off their bodies, and they collapse onto the ground. All right, you. My friend are... asked you a, to do a, him a favor. And if you don't listen, then you'll end up like them. Okay, you, you're our guy. At this point, he, he just has this horrified look on his face. I'll do what anything you... you say, anything. He starts like getting on his knees. Delightful. Tell us how to get past the barrier. New friends, Jung. The, the, the barrier? The barrier? What? Trade one You know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Um, you, you, you aren't allowed to get past the barrier, but... Wrong answer. No, 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 no! Please, let me live! Please, God! If you stand on opposite sides with another team, you can swap teammates. We That's all I know. Stop someone. And then Jong turns and looks over at Fluxvolk. You think he's telling the truth? Oh, I know he is because... <sighs> you know, I'm surprised you all didn't figure that out. But yes, he's telling the truth. Good. Then we don't need him anymore. Jong goes to pull back his I know sword. more! I know more! I swear I know more! I can tell you it's secrets! Then start talking. I want to know more. Uh, you can tell he's like thinking hard. 
Uh, Lord Signe is the the strongest of the Linquist family. And you think that's new information? She's number one. She she is, and she uses her weapon of choice. I can tell you her weapon of choice, but you have to promise that you'll let me go. All right. I promise. He looks at Flux Falk, and she just smiles at him and nods. Okay. She uses a flail. A, a, a chain spiked flail that can shoot spikes and all kinds of things. Man, that sounds pretty cool. Anything else that we can learn? Maybe from the number two, maybe? Do you know what rank your Lady Astrid was, perhaps? Uh, Lady, Lady Astrid, um, well, I, I could tell you that, sure. We know everything about, uh, well, he looks at his, uh, the two at his side. I, I know everything about Lady Astrid. Um, just let me, let me flip through my book here. Uh, sorry, give me a sec. There it is. <sighs> Astrid is ranked number six. Mmm. And Delightful. what weapon does she use? A bow. We we knew that. See, I'm not lying. I wouldn't lie to you. May I mm. have said book? I'm sorry? <laughs> Give me the book. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want this, Joe? You want me to answer? Yeah. I mean, yeah. honestly, yes, but... <laughs> Give me the book. <laughs> And you may leave with your life intact. Please let me go. I'll do anything. Sure, you can go. He slowly gets up. Thank you. It was easy, right? You get he to starts, live. With, you get to I'd live running with you, though. He he turns and bolts out of the room. Joe, I'd like and to it, make an athletics roll. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, what? What? Oh. I was like, as, oh, Jog, okay. As the, the guard, as the guard runs away, off. I would like to take my sword <laughs> and is. throw it oh, right shoot. at his head. This is Tanjiro and Akuza. Uh, <laughs> I promise, but okay. Right, oh, Damien, a promise means nothing to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, this, is, this is what we call a war crime. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what that you a, roll? That's a right, no-no. Uh, that's going to be a uh, da, 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 17. Hmm. He rolled a 17. Oh. Are you oh. When you throw the sword, he turns around just in time, and he like slams it down just in time, and then he continues to run. Wow, you made him look cool. You could have had him trip or something. <laughs> Could have had to uh, like the hilt bonk him on the back of the head or something like. You, know? <laughs> yeah, you just have to, like the most uncool response that that we could have possibly had. Thank you, I, thank you. I, 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 Dad, yeah, if, you see my, if you see any of my friends, make sure to surrender. He, uh, you see him head towards the throne room. Oh, what a sneak! Okay. And he's like pounding on it. Help! Whoa. Open it, please. Hey, he is snitch. The 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 password is like uh, Ulfric or something. Oh, thanks. Uh, he's, you can see him messing with the, the things. Oh wait. And then he, he gives wait, there's a and dirt running another wait, there's direction. Dirt, there's a dirt trap, isn't there? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> he ends up giving up though, and he he runs he runs. Towards the room. He he starts running up the stairs towards the balcony. Well, we have more pressing issues. We've got to go to get to Xion. No, says Flux. We need to catch up. It's been far too long. I'm going to head I... towards the barrier. You guys can sure. follow me or not. You can do whatever you want, Jijong. And Jong makes I way think we should, the barrier. I think we should go with Jong. She has a pouty face. Just five minutes. <laughs> There, remember, there is a time and place for everything, Flux. Don't and you now, want to hear everything that I know about House Lindquist? We can. Um... She walks over to the love seat, sits down, and then pats next to her. 
<laughs> no. No, she owns my friend. I have to go. We have to go, Flux. The information can wait. We have to save Xion. Uh, Alright. Then I'll go with you. She stands up. <laughs> but you have to promise me that really soon we'll have a chit-chat. Of course. You know she's really disappointed. By the way, Ji Jong, sorry about Xion. I'm sure she'll be okay. He doesn't respond to her. All right. Where do you uh, start to head? Um. Okay. So the barrier is, or the the barrier that we're talking about that we need to get through is the one in the east, right? That is where Eden and Xion are. Yeah. Okay, but we're also going to have to call, I guess, either the whole team. Because now that we know the way through the barrier, we need, like, somebody, we need somebody on the other side. So I guess Eden, because she'd be the only one on the other side. Because Wu's team is blocked off from the other, the other, uh. It would make like, the most sense. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. We'll have to wait 30 minutes for the next call. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. All right, well, I guess we could just head to the barrier then and wait it out. We're not timed on the test, so it's not like it matters. Okay, so how? So what are you going to do then? You're choosing to head towards the east barrier through which which route are you taking? Um, There's multiple ways to the east barrier. So yeah, outside of this room is the main hall mm -hmm. with Terran and everything, and then above you is the balcony. Um, you got to this whole center area by heading up those stairs near your room, which led through a series of tunnels, which led you south of here. Well, we didn't... Oh, hang on. We didn't actually check what was behind the south door in the lounge, did we? We might be able to find an alternate path. As long as we don't get lost, we should be able to uh, find a way. Fluxlock just sighs and shakes her head. Do you have something you'd like to add, Fluxvolk? Oh, thank you. You all are so... You haven't realized it yet? You're trying to get to the East Room, right? Yeah. Spit it out, Fluxvolk. Follow me. And she starts walking into the main hall. Zhang follows. Okay. She walks up the stairs and up onto the balcony. I'll move us to the balcony here. Oh, right. We unlock. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah, we unlock. Yeah, yeah. Wait, do we have to spend points? Or does that just, like, us having a certain point total give us access? So, as far Wait, as I'm what? aware, the only people who were aware of the barriers that led up to the balcony and down into the main area were Wu's team. Uh, yeah, Wu's team. Yeah. Wait, we, we came here and, and got to that barrier. Yeah, no, we saw them too. Okay, sorry. My bad. Forgot about that. Okay. The ones that said five points? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Same ones? Okay, cool, cool. So as Fluxbalk leads you up these stairs, suddenly that barrier, you can just walk right through. The, like, the, yeah, this is the first one, right? Yep. yep. That we were, okay, okay. You all have earned more than five points by defeating various members of the Lindquist family, so this barrier yes. no longer matters. Definitely me and Zhang have defeated members of the Lindquist family and haven't been running away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're all a team here, right? So. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, I guess I guess we're uh, we're up the the stairs now. Or yes. Yeah. So we <gasps> okay. We go to the east wing then. Let's yeah, go. So the east wing is this way. Okay. I run you... full. I run full speed at the east barrier. Sure. Sure. And we're gonna <laughs> switch then groups. We're gonna switch to uh, Wu's team in the north. So all right. Woo, you recently defeated Roar. You recently took the call uh, with Eden, and you learned about that whole situation. Oh, sorry, they're over here. I don't know why they did that. Um, and Wait, I, I mentioned I last question? episode that they went into the north room, but I, I'm 
and Xing that, or I'm not, I'm Xing that, they're still in the room uh, with you, Victor and Leaf. The north room is where we started, right? Nope, you came from the east, the ballroom. Okay. Oh, you're right, you're right. But okay, I have another question. The throne room is just in the main hall, like that big door, right? Beneath the balcony? The sure. throne room. Uh, yeah, so if you head south from, like you go into the ballroom, head south, yeah, yeah it leads you to the balcony. Okay. Right, Below you the to, throne room, yeah. All right. All right. Cool. Now, you look at Victor and Leaf, and you can tell they both have a lot on their minds. Really troubled looks on their faces. You guys got something to say? I was about to take a nap. <sighs> Leaf is just quiet. And Victor says, Yep, he starts getting up, holding his uh, wounds. I gotta get to eating ASAP. And I'm not gonna stop you, but what's the rush? The rush is, sounds like she just went through a lot. And Even frankly, she's speaking, alive. And so is she on. And us rushing over there instead of playing our role isn't going to change anything. For now, says Leaf. What if something and what happens? what do you mean by that? Like what? Eden. She sounded unsure. What if she's hurt so bad that she can't keep climbing with us? Or walk over to Leaf and put my hand on her shoulder. You know Eden, right? Yeah. Do you really think she's that weak? That she's hurt so bad that she won't climb with us anymore? From a little kid? I mean, I mean, she on. Oh. Well, I guess there goes my nap. You are the leader anyway. Let's go see what she knows doing. I don't want to be the leader anymore. All right. All right. I extend my hand to both of them and pick them up. Sure. Yeah, they both take take your hand. You gotta go check on them so badly. Let's go check on them. But just know that we still got a job to do here. And it might not be as easy to get to them as you think. Okay. You think she'll be okay though, right, Wu? Leaf, if I didn't think they'd be okay, I would have left already. Okay. Oh, let's go, says Victor. You can tell that he's recovered a little, but still hurting pretty bad. Good work, by the way, man. Uh, thanks. I'm sure Eden would have laughed at me at my performance, but... Victor! Can I, can I just say something real quick, man? Look, you got? I understand that you and Eden are in love, and it's beautiful, and it's cute, and I, I support you! But not everything that you do needs to be about her and vice versa. You know, I actually agree with you on that. But I can't stop worrying about her. It's the only reason why I trust you right now. Let's move. All right. He kind of just ignores that. And you all uh, are heading towards the balcony then? <clears throat> Is that right? Uh, yeah, we have to go through the balcony. Let's okay. Go Sure, sure, sure. You head towards the ballroom, and for a second time, you notice that there is a room to the east that has been still unexplored. Um, and Victor kind of nods towards it. We really haven't checked that out yet, huh? Aren't you guys in a rush? Don't you want to go the fastest way possible? No, of course, but just a little, uh, I get a weird feeling coming from that room. Well, you want me to check it out? No, not now. But maybe if we split up, I head to Eden. You guys can double back and check it out. You know, I'm faster than both of you at this point. I'll go check it out, and then I'll meet you guys at the balcony. Just don't move too fast. You sure? Why not? You said you got a weird feeling, right? Plus, you're not going that fast with that little limp you got there. I'll be back in a sec. This is not a limp. I'm simply resting my leg. There is a difference. <laughs> but okay. Sounds good. Nope. Come on, Leaf. Whatever you say. All right. They start heading south. Right, I'm going to go over to the door. All right. Can I get through? Yes. Yeah, so, so you walk up to it. 
And uh, roll perception for me as well. The 19. I don't even need to look mm -hmm. at it. Sure. So, you it's hard to tell. You almost feel as if there's a presence in the room ahead of you, but it's not... It's not a person. It's just a very ominous feeling. Almost like something used to be there. And it kind of gives you the creeps. Mm, that's all I can tell yeah. about it. Mm. Is there any way in? Can't yep. It. The, door, the door opens up for you. I'm going to check it out. All right. The pathway opens up. And at the end of this door, you see a sign that says dining hall. There's another door. I guess I could go for a snack. Door. You open it up. And you walk into this super long room with a super long table laid out. And this table has all kinds of things on it. Food, wine glasses filled with wine, right? And uh, you know, tablecloths and the like. Chandeliers that are lit. It feels like... You know, a dinner, you walked in and a dinner had just finished. It's, it seems so recent. But the thing that catches your attention the most is that at the chairs all around the table, you see what appear to be people, but they're not moving, almost like they're dolls, all in different outfits sitting at the chairs. Are they actual people? Can I roll? Sure. Roll, yeah, for sure. Roll investigation. Uh, eight. Yeah. So, so even you know you're, you're checking it out. You're kind of unsure of what to make of this, but when you touch them, some of them are better made than others. Some of them like are literally just like straw puppets sitting there. So it's very obvious that they're fake. Others seem very lifelike. Um, but what catches your attention is that you recognize some of the faces on these dolls. And you recognize some of the outfits on these dolls. Could and... Be... Hmm? How is that possible? Because when you walk to the end of the table, you see yourself. As a doll, wearing your outfit from the previous night's banquet. And you see your friends' dolls around you as well. And you're seated in the exact same spots that you were at the banquet. This is twisted. I kick over the chair with my, my doll self in it. Sure, sure. It, it, it kind of stumbles over and Stand collapses on the ground. Spot, grab the glass of wine that was in front of my doll self and proceed to drink it. Okay. Tastes very, very good. Very good uh, Linquist wine. I knew the Linquists were holding out on me. <laughs> I don't know who set this up. Is there anything else I can see in the room? Like any other entrances or exits? As far as you can tell, no. There's no other exits or entrances. Uh, you're, you're, you're just... The, the one that catches your attention the most, the doll that catches your attention the most, is probably Damien's, because they went to the extra effort to make sure he had the vampire outfit, the baseball hat, the fangs. Like it's it's all all the wacky details are there, and he, he has this like goof, he has this goofy smile on his face. Is he hiding under the table as well? <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> uh, I don't like it here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna pick up the seat that I kicked over, mm -hmm. the doll still on the floor. I'm gonna sit in it. I'm gonna take a selfie of me at the table with the dolls. <laughs> all right, cool. You take a nice little selfie. And uh, you make sure the lighting is all good, and it, it turns out very well. Yeah, my camera work is flawless. Anyway, <laughs> then I leave. Okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. So uh, briefly, so yeah, so so you're heading towards the balcony. And really briefly, we're just going to cut back to uh, uh, Jong and Damien. Because you're on the balcony, and suddenly you hear footsteps coming from the north. Uh, and weird. the door opens up and you see Victor and Leaf. Victor looking all banged up and Leaf kind of helping him along, walking onto the balcony. And this day just can't get worse. <laughs> hey guys, says Victor, kind of waves his hand. Oh, hey. We were just uh, running towards <sighs> Eden. Well, perfect timing. We were just heading that direction too. Also, 
Oh, how can guess you... who's here? And I point at Flexfold. Victor's eyes grow <laughs> wide. I'm just gonna head back. You all, you know, I mean, t give Eden my regards. Uh, what's up, Fluxvolk? Uh, how's it going? <sighs> He's still with you, huh? She says. Unfortunately. She yeah, he's doing eyes. good, too. Why? She says to him. You fell uh, in love with little Miss Eden. Oh, how cute. When are you planning to leave? Uh, I'm here for good. What do you mean? <laughs> Who made that sound? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and Leaf just says, come on, guys, we need to head east. Yes, and I'm and I'm about to charge into the barrier. Okay, you you charge into it then, uh, and you just bounce back. No. <laughs> at this what point, Wu, at this point, Wu, you also uh, join the group. Took you guys long enough. Oh my god. Um. Wu. Oh my. And she runs up. She walks up to you. Can I get a hug? I I, I turn around. Roll my eyes, turn back with the biggest smile. Flossful, okay. How have you been? Uh, give her a hug. Mhm. Mm uh, you you just—it's like the most uncomfortable, icy hug you've ever received. It's just horrible. She holds it like a little longer than she should, you know, just kind of <laughs> awkward. And then she and lets go. Sincerely, I say, I like the outfit. Ah, thank you. I figured it was. No longer time for me to hide my identity. Okay. So what are you doing here? Unfortunately, and she looks at Jong and Damien, I wish I was here because of all of you, but I'm here for other reasons. I see her reasons. Can't say I'm surprised. Well, we're kind of in a hurry and I'm guessing you're coming with us, so we'll mm -hmm. catch up when we get there. Sounds good. And you I all walk up to him. Victor in long. Like, sure. He's he's definitely is freezing and he kind of slowly moves along. So you walk up to the barrier and it still says trade one regular. And Fluxwall kind of explains again how you have to exchange teammates from either side. Now, you didn't hear this from me, but apparently there's another way to get around these barriers. And the Lindquist family didn't tell you. And you know this other way. <laughs> I had a little chat with the announcer of this game. Don't worry, he's still alive. And I learned a few things. You're dancing in the palm of their hand right now. They're hiding a few details from you. One of which is that the cards, the playing cards, do you have any? Yeah, Damien, I have all you. three of mine. <laughs> Perfect. Or do I have two? Wait, how many do I have? You have uh, we have three. We have three. I, okay, we cool. We have three. The playing cards aren't used to simply reveal locations on the bingo sheet. They can also be used, and she reaches out her hand. Please. Jijo. Oh, wait, I thought Damien had the cards. I don't have the cards. I do have all three <laughs> cards now. Uh, Go! <laughs> So, I placed one face down in Flux Volks's hand. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. end my turn. <laughs> um, can I have all three, Damien? Oh, I, I I put another the second one face down in Flux Volks's hand and end my turn. Damien? I, I this is that, that that's my whole hand though. Okay, here. Okay. I place the third one down, face down, and end my turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She takes the cards, and she walks up to the barrier, and then from within one of her coat pockets, she pulls out another card. And then using all four, she places them onto the barrier, and then it shatters. That's so do the cards. The cards also shatter. All four? Mm-hmm. So the cards count as regulars? No, but they simply had another use. Did you have to spend all of them for the one barrier? Don't you want to go see your friends? 
True. She's Not right. Really. It doesn't matter going. Let's go. Okay. Okay. So at this point, we're going to cut to the south with Brack. So, Brack, you have just ended the phone call with the team. You're in the room with Laura and with your best buddy, Leif Lindquist. He walked to a corner of the room and just kind of leaned against the wall while you uh, took the call. So now he's just kind of looking over at you. Uh, it, hold up. Above the table real quick. Is yeah. Seo Young still there? Because I remember Seo Young, like, uh, 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 talking in the call. Or was he talking from his own pocket? Yeah, he was, so he was talking from his own pocket then. Yeah. Gotcha. He was not in the room, as far as I recall. Uh, cool, cool, cool. So he's in the bedroom right now, as far as you're aware. You're standing next to Laura with her cross-shaped weapon. And Leaf kind of motions. Done with your friendly little chat? Hope I didn't interrupt. Uh, uh, I forgot you were still here. I thought you were going to go ahead and blue can do we can too and scuddle away, Lim Lim. Uh, are we My really name about is to Leaf. do this? Lim Lim, Leaf, it doesn't. No, no, your name is not Leaf. We're not calling you Leaf. We refuse to. What? Laura? Laura? Yeah? Laura? <laughs> We're not calling the belief right, Laura. I mean, that's... Sure. Right. What was, now, what was his name? Lim Lim? <laughs> Lim Lim is his name. <laughs> now, Lim Lim. Can you Tell give you. me like about... 10 seconds real quick. I just need to run real quick to the back to get something. And then, since you're so adamant to continue this fight, we can actually do it properly. And I don't have to handicap myself for you, you little grunt. I don't mind fighting you, Brack. I really don't. In fact, it's some of the most fun I've had in a while, but it takes time. So while you go fetch your little uh, errand, how about you go fetch me something too? A little kid named Gray. Could you bring him out here? Keep calling them gray, and I will turn this whole needle sideways and shove it up your butt. Yeah. Now leave, you know, give me 10 seconds so that I can go get something that will be sure to satisfy your sadistic needs. Okay? He, he kept wanting to say something, but at that point he just stops. Go ahead. I'll let it be. So then I'll run away. Right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so young. <laughs> so, <laughs> little young? Little young? Uh uh yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 right there. A harpoon. I need it. I need it. If you never want to see Leaf again, give it to me. He's asking for me, isn't he? He he is. But don't worry about that. Just give me the harpoon. I could end all of this right now. You're not ending anything. So give me the harpoon. I could because you have more to do than to sacrifice yourself to that sadistic zombie now all i need is for you to give me the harpoon and i can go end him no one will be able to recognize him if you just give me my trusty weapon he he stops you know he's not think you can tell he's not thinking about that but he slowly gets up and walks to a corner of the room and picks up the harpoon and hands it to you Without looking. I take the harpoon from him. I missed you. Did you miss me? <laughs> All right. Now, you, you go hide. Go over. Go, go, go back over by the bed. When I come back, this will all be over. Also, Laura is here too. So don't even worry about us. We're, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to get him out of here. Yeah. So then I, uh, I run out the room and I lock the door behind me. Um, the doors don't lock. They only open with the whole pa position game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Earlier, so, yeah, yeah. So, so I just run out the room, though. Sure, okay. You can tell he wants to say something, but he chooses not to, and you run back towards Leaf. At this point, you see him and Laura chit-chatting in the middle of the room. So, what are you guys talking about? Did you miss me? 
Ah, uh, hey, Lim Lim, I got a special treat for you, you know? You remember this weapon here? Of course you don't. You never saw it before. But don't worry, it, it has some special tricks that it's going to show you. One is uh, pretty much how to turn a Lim Lim into a shish kebab. You want to you wanna continue on with this bout? You don't know how crazy she is, do you? Do you even know who she is? I'm looking at Laura. When she fought me, she turned into a wild beast. You can shape shift? <laughs> she shrugs. I simply get in the moment when I'm fighting. Is Sorry, it a cuddly beast? I think he's talking figuratively, Brack, but you know. How tall do you get? <laughs> now, moving on. I think... Hold on. You said you'd make it worth my while. He's back there, isn't he? Hiding out in his room. <laughs> I have no clue who you're talking about. <laughs> I was talking about my harpoon the whole entire time. I treat this thing like my baby. Now, um, right. Right. why don't we cut the chit chat and, you know, get back to business. Yeah. Now, at this point, you start to hear footsteps coming up the stairs behind Leaf, like towards the balcony area. <gasps> And then someone comes bursting into the room, and it's uh, a dude in a butler suit. <gasps> He's catching his breath. Uh, Lord Leaf! Lord Leaf! <sighs> he runs up to him. Ah, oh, what is it? And he starts whispering in his ear. And suddenly he has a very serious expression on his face. Lem Lem, you look constipated. Why don't you get it out? The immediate mute from Hannah. Um, you know, having more than 10 participants is against the rules, right? You keep mentioning things about these rules, and yet, Brock has not broken a rule yet. You asked me to have a one on one with you, and then that you would leave and turn your back and go if I. I don't attack you, but yet you're still here trying to fight me. Now, you don't now what seem rule to did we break? Understand the gravity of this situation. Do gravity? You? This isn't a soul's light. There is no gravity. He just hesitates and then says, "We're the ones in charge of this test. If you don't listen to us and our rules, well, we might have to have a word with the administrator." The who? Administrator of the floor. I know what an administrator is. I was just playing with you. I was just trying to see if you knew what an administrator was. Right, Laura? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can tell right. she's just kind of unsure of what to say. Look, if you want your fight, you can have it. I don't you want to fight. crying to the rest of your team. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Sound good, big guy? You keep saying that if you want this fight. Brack never asked for the fight. You turned around after she, who can turn into a demonic beast, <laughs> stabbed you in the back. It wasn't me. It was her. I'm just fighting with her. So yes, let's have this fight. Hoping you'd say that. He draws his sword and once again, and you see immediately the shield starts expanding out of the hilt like before in a circle. Just big old shield that's attached to his sword. Let's settle this once and for all. Then I can move Lord on transform. to the champion. Laura transform. Laura transform. Uh, Laura transform. Brack, I can't transform. He said that you transformed into a beast. I need to see the beast. No, Unleash no. it. <laughs> don't, don't worry about her. Just kill him, please. Just kill him. Uh, fine. And she puts the cross on her back and kind of hunches over. I'll show you what I can do. I'm the hero of Muji. If you think I'm gonna lose to the likes of you, well, let's just say you'll be sorry. Roll initiative. He was trying to think of something cooler to say, but you know, nothing came to mind. It is time to hunt. It's gonna be one of these days, ain't it? Nope, you, you just got your bad roll out of the way. You got your bad roll out of the way, Milia. Oh. You're good. You're good. I believe in you. I rolled a five. You defeat him. It's fine. 
I rolled a five. Uh, five? That it's is... just initiative. It doesn't mean... That's yeah, bro, that's initiative. <laughs> that don't mean nothing, bro. Yeah. You got that flatness for Yeah, yeah, yeah. So add your dexterity. Uh, dex? Uh, I thought it was just initi- uh, Wait, initiative. Uh, initiative bonus is your dex. Oh, okay, okay. So six. It's six then. Yep, okay. So three plus okay, six. Okay, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> three plus uh, three, six. So as soon as the fight begins, Leaf moves at lightning speeds immediately towards you, Brack. No hesitation. And he whips his sword around and he slices you twice. Okay, the first one, you're easily able to block it with your harpoon, but the second time, he gets a 19. And so, take 11 damage as his blade rips through your armor. Well, gee, jeez. Ugh. I'm number two for a reason. No, you're number two because you're shy. Laura, help. You got it. <laughs> now, instead of throwing the her weapon this time, she just swings it forward and kind of like goes in for a stabbing motion towards Leaf. Which does hit. All right. Okay, Let's okay. Go, Laura. Three. He was still weak from last week. (laughs) (laughs) Yep, no healing was done. She does eight damage as the 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 edges of her blade run into him, and he catches it right before it goes any further, and kind of knocks it away with his sword. Your turn. (sighs) See, there's times like these where you need to learn how to uh, know your place, little Lim Lim. So, what I want to start with first is uh. Yo, hold up. Where is, it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Why are you forsaking me? Don't forsake me. Uh, first, I want to start with not has expand, but I want to start with. I believe it's this one. No, no. I want to start with a uh, harpoon style crashing gale. All right, going for it. So he has to make a deck save, right? Uh. If I'm remembering properly. You say if you, you unleash the power of your weapon, physically crashes down. If they fail, strength safe. Oh, strength safe. Cool. cool. Yeah. Well, oh boy. Yeah. Ha! He rolled a one. So that yeah! is a fail. That is a fail. I told right See, it gives the uh, takes. It's both uh, sides. Come on. Right, right. Oh, oh, I won't believe it until I see Leap dead. Oh, <laughs> he about to feel the rock. His name is Lim Lim. His name is Lim Lim. He about to Hold up. That's my 10, right? This 10, right? Yeah, this 10. Yeah, you did upgrade it. Hold so. up. Hold up. Come on. Hold up. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's uh, 7, I believe. Okay. 7, all right. Yes. Okay. You swing forward with your harpoon, and the wave of Shinsu just crashes into him, kind of knocks him back for a second. (laughs) Nifty trick. What's wrong, Lem Lem? Coughing up a lung? Can't breathe? I'm not even beating a sweat, Brack. You're not beating a sweat, sweat. but... Breaking a sweat. (laughs) You might not be breaking a sweat, but we're breaking them lungs. (laughs) So I should have mentioned that, you know, roll 20. So where, where are you positioned here in correspondence oh, to Leaf? Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I'm right here. Perfect, okay. So. All right, at this time, he hesitates, looks towards the both of you, and he starts to swing his sword around. And you've seen this move before. Uh, both of you need to make a con saving throw. Constitution. Gotta believe. Gotta believe. And that's a 17. Gotta believe. You you both succeed the saving throw. Gotta believe. You just blowing gust of wind and you ain't even hitting me. Gotta believe. You still do take half damage, (laughs) so let me go ahead and roll that here. I take what? So it doesn't send you flying like before, but the wind still slices through you. Take four damage. 
He says tornado, and he cuts himself off. Oh, forgot how heavy you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you can never get it up. We understand. <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> <laughs> it's Laura's turn. So at this point, she she kind of hesitates and uh, gives a little charge, and you. Rack, you feel some Shinsu like burst through her body before she slams the cross down onto Leaf, which does hit. All this right. time, dealing more damage. Oh, cool. He takes nine damage from the from the blow. Get they kind of clash for a minute, and then she strikes him right on his shoulder. Oh. And you can tell her eyes are kind of lighting up now, and she has a smile on her face. Yeah, get into it. <laughs> Good job, Lore. Good job, Lore. Now bite him. Whoa! 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 Embrace the beast. Embrace the beast. No, that's not where her mouth goes. No, no. He said, feed your inner demon. No, 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 no. <laughs> not in the fight, not in the fight. That's All right, Brack. <laughs> right. I'm going for, uh, since I have all my TP, <laughs> lucky me, I'm going for, uh... <laughs> Wait, how do you have all your TP? Because I used the needle. Oh, and all my abilities that's, true. that's true. That's true. You did just use three. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Um. So first, I want to enrage. Yep. Start out with a little battle roar, letting it out in his ears. I'm not going to actually roar because I don't want to blow on anybody's eardrums. Um. <laughs> but we we let out a nice yes. hearty battle roar. All right. Let him know that we coming for him. Yep. We like him and we want him, and then. We gonna go for <clears throat> because I have hold up. Did I just spend that rage point? I spent well, a rage you point. Didn't, there. You didn't spend it earlier, as far as I'm aware. Okay, so I have two right now, right? Because no. I gain it per turn. No, it's every time you land a normal, like a normal attack on someone. Got gotcha, you. That's why I messed up that. Yeah. All right, cool. So then I want to use harpoon style crashing gill again. Crashing gale, okay. So keep yeah. in mind, you don't have a rage point, so you're just using it like normal. The regular one, just the yep. regular one. Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. So he has to make a strength save again. He's gonna make that roll. Uh, this time he succeeds though. Uh, he still, so he does dodge the attack. And he does it with style too. You shoot this and he says, not a second time, like really quick. And then he backflips over the Shinsu, lands down again. Okay, so you're nimble. You're nimble. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You got dainty feet. It's understandable. You know, giving your physique, your shape. You know, it's okay to have dainty feet. You know, out here like a ballerina. But Brack doesn't. Brack doesn't judge us. You know, even though Brack is judging right now, you shouldn't never dodge that attack. You should have took the attack like a champ. But no, you didn't want to take the attack. You just wanted to get out the way. Okay. okay, okay. Are you gonna move? Or are you still stay there? <laughs> Use your action to keep talking. talking to you. <laughs> Brock, moves. <laughs> Brock moves close to him. Closer to him. Oh, okay. Closer to him. Perfect. Oh, All right. Man. At this point, it is his turn again. This time he turns towards Laura and strikes her twice with his blade. Laura, duck! Oh my gosh. Both times hit. Uh -oh. oh, God. That's oh, Laura, breathe. Uh, 15 damage. <laughs> Lord, blade, at this point, the blade is just dancing around. And you'd think this shield would be kind of like in the way, but you can tell he's very experienced with the weapon. Whipping it around, you know, she's blocking, but then he strikes, block, strike, and blood is flying from her, uh, from her abdomen area. <sighs> she's breathing heavy. <clears throat> I'm good. My turn now, she says in his face. Right. Breck! Should I go all out? Unleash the beast. <laughs> Unleash the beast. Unleash the beast. And Brock just thought chain. <laughs> sure, okay. <laughs> all right. So at this point, he has to make a saving throw. Okay. So she jumps up into the air and kicks off of him, which deals some damage. And then as she's kicking off of him and flying through the air for a second, she whips out her cross and throws it, and it goes spinning through the air, and it like crashes through his, it like slices through the, his back, and then comes around and she catches it again. Oh, fancy. Uh, let me just make sure. Unleash the beast. Unleash the beast. 
Now bite him. <laughs> and that's a significant amount of damage to uh, to Leaf out of nowhere. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm damn. not the only one, but like because it's Lee fighting, like I just picture like Fire Emblem like battle animation. You know? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That's great. Okay. The only way to fight me is two on one. I see how it is. I was beating you up until you decided to forfeit and run away. You didn't want to fight again until she got here and attacked you. Save it, save it, Lim Lim. No one wants to hear it. No one wants to hear it. Number two, number two. <laughs> and then I just. <laughs> All right, uh, oh, it Lord. is your turn, Brack. All right, so in his face. Hold up, how much Shinsu do I have remaining? I should have. No, I use my secret technique, so I have none then. Because I use my secret technique and I use Shinsu battery reinforcement, so I have none. All right, so I'm going to use. Yes. I'm just going to smash him in his face. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, with the regular harpoon attack. I'm going to exp expand first, harpoon yep. expansion. All right. And then, hold up, let me let's get it off, let's get it off, let's get it off, let's get it off. Bada bing, bada boom. Sixteen. So, right as you're about to hit him with this attack, he brings up the shield with his sword and blocks it. You can tell oh, that this shield is putting in some work. Uh, defensive. Censorship, bro. It's <laughs> happening right now. I give you that. You block my attack. You block Thanks. my attack. Your turn now. And he immediately starts flurrying, and you feel a burst come from him. He attacks you three times. Mm -hmm. come on, Yikes. Come on, brat. So, first one hits. Second one is 11 plus 5. 16. 16 damage. 16 to hit. Oh, 16 to hit. Uh, I think that hits. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's mama class. Yeah. Went now, down one because put out the armor. Oh, so you did go into rage, and when you did, you did gain five temporary hit points. So just a reminder okay. for that. Uh, let me make a really good attack. Do a damage. All right, just make a trick. Okay. So, he hits you twice. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. <sighs> so at this point, he just dances with the blade. You try to block, he tips it aside, strikes you in the shoulder, whips the sword out, slices you in the stomach. He misses for the third time, but you take 19 damage. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> no way. Really? Oh, yeah, I got 27 points? hit points. Yeah. Even with those five, I got 27 hit points remaining. Uh oh. Oh no. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Wait, how many points? How many points? I had 27 hit points remaining. He hit me for 11, which brought me down to 16. Then he hit me for four. Then Rage gave me the temporary five. Then he just hit me for 19, which would be minus two. So I'm down on the ground. Brack's dead. <laughs> he slices through your armor, and you are just shocked at how nimble he is. Blood comes spurting from your body. Right before you go unconscious, do you want to say anything? Brack with a smile on his face. You're still a bitch. And he just falls. <laughs> he falls face first onto the ground. Yo, I'm not doing this shit again. I'm not no, doing this again. <laughs> not with Brack, bro. No, I'm not I doing this again. <laughs> So, my rolls was just bad today, that's all. <laughs> so your vision just goes blurry. And that's the, the last thing you remember. We're gonna cut to a different group. Oh my god. Wait, what happened? Did he win? No! What do you mean no? Brack went down. What? <laughs> Welcome no, back. no, 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 what do you mean? <laughs> Man, man, hit Milios, like a truck. What are you talking about? Man, hit like a truck, and my rolls were trash. The luck of the gods was not on my side. <laughs> I don't know what you. Oh want. my god. We will forever oh, no. remember the immortal quote, Stexa. Remember when I was high in vitality? <laughs> <laughs> this is what oh, happened again. Just no. <laughs> Wait, so like, like, like he's down? Can Laura pick him up? 
We don't know. His we his vision know. went blurry. Joe cut away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I hate it here. Laura isn't yeah. a POV character, okay? Come on. True. You're right. You're right. Oh my god. Right. What could possibly happen? Oh. I sense a disturbance. <laughs> I sense a disturbance. <laughs> <laughs> As if millions of voices suddenly <laughs> cried out in terror. Like a million strawberry waters silence. spilled all at the same time. <laughs> Dude. Emilius was right. I just rolled like crazy during that. Thing. Yeah, that's what oh, I'm saying. I don't trust your dice no more. I'll... They were D8s and I was rolling I'm sevens. Saying, bro. And... Oh my gosh. I think Joe's dice need to go on an investigation person. Uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah. Whenever whenever he rolling for one of the NPCs, it's always That's I mean one of the top one NPCs. I don't know, man. Damn, they go down. Someone get the D and D cops in here. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> 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 okay, so so at this point we're cutting to Eden. So Eden, at this point, uh -huh. you are in the eastern room. You just brought Shion into the room. Uh. Did you like, what did you do exactly with Eden when you came in? So basically when she got in there, she got Shion to a bed and was checking the bandages. And then is basically like keeping an eye on her, but also is like, has a bro out and is trained on the door. So if anyone comes close, she's shooting at whatever it is. Okay. So Eden, sorry, Shion is currently on the bed, you said? Yeah. All right, cool. So the call has ended at this point. Mm -hmm. Shion is on the bed bandages all around her. You see her breathing, her chest mm -hmm. rising and falling. Everything seems to be okay for the time being. Okay. And you are, you're sitting there. And she's, she's, she's shaking and there's still, she's still got some tears coming out and she's, she's watching Shion, watching the door, watching Shion, watching the door, almost frantically. Sure. Like she, she cannot calm down. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's that's about all she can do because she doesn't she doesn't know about the barriers. So um, okay, yeah. yeah. So at this point, you're you're sitting there for a little while, and uh, go ahead and roll perception for me. Oh, man. That's a natural twenty. That's a way to start it. Holy cow. Okay. You are so on edge and just you're trying to listen to every little sound, every little thing. And what, what you think is just some random noise from down the hall turns into footsteps. Mm. And you're hearing armor clanking. The same sound you heard when you were, uh, when you entered the chapel. Oh, no. Um, you're just hearing a clink, clink, clink outside in the, the hallway. And the doors are... We cannot close and lock the doors in any way, shape, or form, correct? So, no, the door the door is shut. The door is shut. Okay. Yeah. However, you can't lock the door. No. I cannot lock the door. I mean, so around, I mean, there's no lock on the door, I gotcha. should say. Yeah. Is there a couch or an armoire or something nearby the door? Roll, roll investigation for me. Okay. Uh, that's 12. Uh, so... Most of the things in this room, like the giant bed, you know, the giant beds, mm -hmm. it's really huge stuff, and it doesn't seem like it would conveniently work. Uh, you do find a chair. It doesn't seem... You're unsure if it'll hold up very well, but that's the only thing you can find. Okay. I'm gonna do what I can. I'm gonna try and wedge it under the the door thing so it can't... Or at least it would have trouble opening if somebody yeah. decided to open it. Okay. Yeah, you wedge it in a way to try to do your best there. You're unsure if it's gonna work out very well, but it's better okay. than nothing. You're hearing the clanking get closer and closer to your room, and it suddenly stops, and then you hear the footsteps walking away. What the fuck? Um, okay. Uh... And then yeah, you start to hear Shion mumble. She, she goes over to Shion. Okay. Uh, if everyone else could unmute. I mean, sorry, could mute. Oh, that's about to Hi! Oh, <laughs> episode sucks, bro. Poor <laughs> 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 he, he was it's so excited for, for this episode, it's, too. It's uh, good for him. <laughs> it's, 
I love yeah. you, Isaiah. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, she starts to mumble, and then you can't understand what she's saying, but you say you run over to the bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm like kneeled next to it so I can like see and hear her, but I'm also still watching the door. So I'm kind of like at an angle. Sure. All right. She's just, her mouth is slowly moving. She can tell she's completely unconscious at this point. Bruises and cuts all over her body, mm -hmm. uh, blood. And she, she's just lightly speaking. Okay. And I, I still can't make out what she's saying. At first. Okay. But then you hear her start to say a few words. Mm -hmm. She starts saying, Shiro, Shiro. Um, and then you hear her say, I'll save you. Just a, just saying the name Shiro so often. Mm-hmm. All right, roll perception now. Okay. Uh, 16. I can't add. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She also, so she's saying these things. Then you, you, you catch the word poison as well. Okay. And then it's hard. You're, you're not entirely sure, but you think you hear her say, Jong. Ooh. Needle. And then she starts breathing heavily. And then she stops talking. No more mumbling after that. Oh. Jeez. Yeah? <laughs> Just an emergency alert. Oh, it's not, sorry. It's, okay. it's, it's nowhere near me. Why am I? Okay. Anywho, carry on. It happens. I was that. It's all good. Like, bah! <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Okay, at that point, she stops mumbling. Okay. And just continues to rest. Okay. Eden, for while listening to that, like, kind of takes the edge off for a second and then just kind of like grabs and kind of like grabs her hand and not hard, but just, you know, kind of like holds her hand and just kind of like runs her thumb over her knuckles, just kind of like in a comforting gesture. Sure. To, to try and help her out. Mm hmm. But Eden is still very shaken. Okay, so you just stand. You just stayed like that. Yeah. For a little while. You'll. And once okay. she kind of calms down, then she goes back to her patrolling, basically. Sure. Okay. Patrolling in what way? Basically, going back to the way she was, just watching her, watching the door, watching her. Okay. Watching the door. Gotcha, Not gotcha. actually walking around, but just visually patrolling. All right. I guess we got you. All right, I'm gonna tell them to unmute. All right. Ayo. Welcome back, everybody. Hello. Welcome back. Okay. Music. So at this point, Eden, you are just looking at both areas, being extremely careful. And if you're gonna stay like that, then we're gonna briefly cut to another group then. Yeah, there's not much else I can do at sure. this point. Sure, yeah, that's cool. So at this point, we're cutting to the duo team, the team that is now entering the East Wing. And I'm going to take a minute to actually just copy over the tokens. Uh, that way it should be easier. So if I'm correct, it's the North team and the West team. Hold on. It might take me just a moment. So we have Jong, Fluxvalk, Damien, alongside... Mm -hmm. Woo, Leaf, and Victor. So just give me one sec. Okay. I have three of you there, and then we're gonna grab the others. All right, if everyone could look on the left side of the screen, I'll reveal a little area here. <laughs> There we go. Up oh, shoot, didn't. All right, just give me a moment. You enter this room that can only be described as the honey room as soon as you enter the east, the east wing. Mm, honey? And it's kind of strange because a lot of you had entered this this area before, but you hadn't really noticed this uh, particular detail about this uh, this area. 
But when you enter, it's a, it's like a, a green area. The wallpaper is green. Uh, the floor carpet is green and everything. Let me grab these other tokens. And above you, there's like this shelf that kind of circles the entire room. And each of the jar, you just see a bunch of jars scattered along this, uh, this shelf. And towards the left, like when you enter and you look to the left, there we go. Now there's everybody. When you look to the left, you see there's like a big, almost like if you imagine a, a little machine where you can get water out of it, but instead it's filled with honey. Can you switch it over for the players? Yep. Uh. Uh, you all should be on the... I, just, I still see East Room for mine. We're, we're on the East Wing. It's just to the left of the... Oh! Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely okay. Don't worry about me. <laughs> You're good. Oh, good. Um, wow. What is this area? Who cares? Let's just keep moving forward. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. This is what they call... What rich people call the jar room. Excuse What's me? a jar room? Where they keep all their jars. But we have we have more pressing matters. We must keep we have to keep going. Can I walk over to the, can I walk over to the thing of honey? Yeah, absolutely. Can I take a, a little swig? A or a little swig. <laughs> Yeah. There there actually is a stack of plastic little cups so you can help yourself. <laughs> and the honey starts pouring out really slowly. It looks really rich. It looks very smooth. And you notice the the liquid inside the container is starting to slowly go down as well with the with what you're pouring. Uh, I'm gonna start a little recording as I take a sip. Ah. Ew. Well, Blinkwist honey is not as sweet as their wine. And video. Uh, Fluxlock runs up to you, Damien, for a second. Damien. Yes. You know, I'm sure they have this completely under control. We could go taste some honey and just relax for a bit. What do you say? That's, I think that's more of a Harry Felger thing. We've, we've got to keep moving, Flux. I promise we'll talk. I have a lot that I think you could learn from. That it can wait after, can't it? You can tell she's getting increasingly more frustrated. Fine. I was hoping our reunion would be a bit more enjoyable. I'm sorry, but really, it's... I promise I'll make it up to you. Is this another form of empathy? Mm, I mean, yes. In a way, concern for friends is... Uh, I would categorize that. Okay. Then this would be almost a lesson, right? One of our old I... lessons from before? Yes, old lessons. I've been giving you worksheets for six years. And I'm always getting A pluses, right? <laughs> Acing the exams. Aren't you proud of your student? Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I am. Let's keep moving. All right. Agreed. <laughs> so you end up coming to a little uh, break in the hall. I'll take Which, the north path. She says she want glazed honey buns, but she ain't talking about the pastry. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> So, wait, so John, you're heading south and Damien, you're heading north? <clears throat> yes. Okay. Have more ground. I go with Damien. You guys realize of course. That Oh, that's surprising. <laughs> Never mind, I guess we're splitting up. Now, so <laughs> Victor kind of looks to the left, he looks at Fluxvolk, he looks to the right, looks at Jong. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <laughs> Take your poison, dear. <laughs> he hesitates, and then you see him walk towards Jong. I just turn to leave, and I'm like, they do realize that I could have. Whatever. They always forget you're a scout. Uh, I'd rather not go with Flux. Sorry. Um, I'll go with Flux. No, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do, you do whatever you want to do. I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> oh, all right, no. all right. So, so, uh, j whoops. Whoa, I don't know what happened there. Okay, so Jong, you start heading okay. south. Correct. And you end up walking in front of two doors that both have this, well, both doors are now open at this point and you look inside and when you look inside and this applies to Victor and Wu as well, 
You see like a T-Rex on the ground, so you're like zapping with electricity. You see two giant robots in the back, a train with steam coming out of it. Just all kinds of toys scattered around, just electricity just zapping throughout the room. What hell happened here? No idea, this is Victor. Whatever it was, it was probably fun. Come on. Man, this could have been where Eden had the fight. That means we're not far away. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna take a look around. All right. You sure, one of us coons shouldn't. Never mind. What and John immediately bolts mean? out of the way. I'll tell you later, he says. And then he looks at John. You sure you don't want to come, Wu? You sure? Never mind. I just want a picture of the T-Rex. I'll meet you. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Damien, you start heading north, and you end up coming across a door right here, and it says library. <gasps> library. A great place to hole up in case you're in danger. We should investigate. Um, is that true? What? Nope. I mean, something. <laughs> <laughs> Either Flux... way, she could be in there. Or I could. I guess I could investigate if there's any signs of people being here. You Actually, know, I always that hated reading. Sense. Reading is always hard. I gave you worksheets that you're supposed to. They were. They were long form essay. <laughs> It's Never hard, mind, Damien. It's hard. How did you ace? Did you did you give your worksheets to Bool or something? I, I, never mind. <laughs> I never. <laughs> <laughs> Casual like you this. cheated. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? This whole time, I thought you were doing this. Oh no! Are you supposed to believe Smile is the one who has <laughs> who empathizes with people? <laughs> I would never <laughs> cheat on one of your worksheets. <laughs> I can never forgive myself. That's good. That's good. And Leaf says we should go find Eden and Shion. What? Well, we ought to go with them, Leaf. Let's go into the library. <laughs> Damien! <laughs> Leaf's so innocent, dealing with so much pent up aggression. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> You All try right. and let them grow, you, when they grow up. You try and let them make their own decisions and whatnot, but then they just do <laughs> stupid stuff. <laughs> okay, so you enter the library, and there are all kinds of huge bookshelves or bookcases that you can see. Uh, they're all organized very neatly, and there's this little area to your right. It's all like wooden bookshelves. There's like a couple big windows in the back as well. And you see this little staircase to your right that leads to an upper level to the right. Just this little area where there's another huge bookshelf or you know bookcase all the way to the ceiling with these huge ladders. But the two of you walk in, then Leaf says, I'm going to keep moving. You guys go on ahead. Eden, you in here? <laughs> and Fluxfalk follows. Eden. Leaf just Wait, continues I'm on. <laughs> Wait, I've got an idea. <laughs> At least I bought this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if someone's idea. in here, reveal themselves. <laughs> Is it like a fire alarm I can pull? No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no fire alarm. No, they're not. <laughs> then you can set a fire and make one happen. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a very good thing for a library not to have sprinklers and a fire alarm. All right, we'll cut to the bat to the down here. So, Wu, what exactly? You're gonna take a picture of the T Rex really quick. All right, did it. I'm back. Sure, sure. Okay. I rolled around the, the other edge. All right, you, you you did have to kind of tiptoe because it was still sparking a little bit, but you were you're fine. Bro, you meet back I, up with you. Do, do I need to roll athletics to take the picture? No. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you're like it's worth it. No, you're good. You're fine. All right, so the three of you are now walking. Oops, walking down the hall. No, you're good. Right. Okay. I didn't know how far you wanted me to go. Yeah, hey, you're fine. You come to another uh, corner here. Now, like I was trying to say before we split it before, you realize I'm a scout and I can find where we need to go, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, says Victor. Wait, you that's right. Victor, Shoot, why didn't you say so sooner? I tried. Y'all just darted off in different directions. Whoa, can you hurry up and just use the observer? Sure, man. I know you're agitated. I'm not gonna take any offense to that. Let me just use my observer and get a yes, yes, a master. I got you. <laughs> uh, that's an eleven. Oh, oh no. 
11? Okay, yeah, so combined with your previous knowledge of this area, because you all did a lot of back and forth, you determined that if you go left, you'll you'll find the room. It's definitely left. All right, All right, let's go. Let's go. I, Victor seems uncomfortable he said the same thing as you. Zhang doesn't acknowledge it. <laughs> <laughs> He's walking. <laughs> uh, all right, you end up coming to the room. Eden! Eden, it's us! Eden, you hear their voices outside the door. She doesn't open the door. Eden, it's Victor! Eden, open the door! She slowly goes over to it and, like, just partially opens it just to check, thinking it could it could be a Linquist trap. Close you, see the, you see the three of them. And she fully opens the door. Jean, get in there, please. Jean runs in. Okay. And he makes eye contact with Eden. And then he looks over to the bed. How bad is it? It's really bad. She still hasn't woken up yet fully. I did what I could, but I don't have any healing. Uh, you just right. see, you just see Shion all all beat up, and she's not saying anything. She's completely unconscious, just breathing steadily. Uh, Zhang walks over and approaches the bed, and I'm gonna go ahead and use life breath, okay, to try and Breathe revive on. her. <laughs> go, go ahead and. Yes. Uh, this is this is the moment people have been talking about. Go ahead and make that uh, roll. <laughs> people have been talking about. What could you possibly super, mean by that? Super interesting. <laughs> you might need to like directly administer the breath of the lips. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it, it might be. Is it way. gonna be more potent that way? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I saw this movie, uh, Sleeping Beauty. I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Loki, forget the techniques. You're fine. Thing. Uh, yeah, I have your, um, yeah. So you, you actually don't have to roll. Okay, so you just spend as whatever. Yeah, you yeah. Multi, spend. it's SP times two, right? Yep. Mm. All right, Pog. I have. Uh, let's do. We'll do six. Six cool. times. Yeah. So six times two. So that's twelve. Cool. All right. And so as Jean stands there, kneeling down next to the bed, staring at Xion's body, closes his eyes. And he tries to take in a deep breath, although this time you notice that it's a little bit harder for him to do. Like his breath isn't as calm. But slowly he manages to take a breath in and release Shinsu. It just sort of cascades all over Xion's body as it slowly seeps in to her body, covering her wounds. You see them slowly, like, it's almost like you can't even tell, but you, you think that they're slowly starting to heal. At this point, uh, Victor walks into the room and gives you a hug, Eden. And at this point, you can clearly tell that Victor... You're surprised he's even, like, able to walk around. He looks pretty beat up, too. Are hey. You oh, I'm fine. You know, we took down a literal wild animal with crazy air and due to bitly... It's whatever. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. How are you doing? I'm okay. Um, yeah. But you need treatment too uh, just give me a bed just for a little bit and I'll be fine you know well, I've got 10 family blood it's not the same I'll be back up in no time you don't need to lay on the bravado okay if you're hurt you're hurt I got a couple cuts yeah is this all of you where's Damien Damien wasn't wasn't Damien with Shang? Uh, so we have some news. Uh, remember, remember back on the second floor, we we made friends with a literal demon creature thing. It, what he's trying to say is Flux Volk is back. So she was the eleventh person. Yeah. Well, what now? Zojak. Well, Zojak said over the intercoms that there was a. An 11th regular that was added to the test, so it had to have been her. 
Oh, right. I forgot about that. Well, yeah, yeah it's definitely her. She's here. She's with Damien and Leave. We came here first. Aren't they with you guys? We weren't sure where to find you, so we split up. But... There's a now that we found you, I'm gonna go find them. Seems that you yeah, and the birds have a lot there, of catching a, up to do. There's a creature with armor that's been roaming these halls. There's a what? Yeah, like, Shion and I hid from him. That's how we found the chapel when it got marked off on the bingo card. But he just approached the door and left just a little while ago before you guys got here. A creature? Wait, he just approached the door? Yeah, and he didn't come in, and he left, but I... I... Wait, we should have come across him then. Not if he went the other way. There's a lot There's of actually a few tunnels paths that I didn't here. explore here. Uh, could have gone anywhere. I mean, Flux is with them. I'm sure they're fine, but we should probably send someone to go check it out. Wu, can I'll you use go. your observer? You guys, yeah, you guys get some rest, all right? No, no, no. Wait, wait. look. If if we no, got he's this right. He's right, cool. Eden. There, he'll be fine. He I'll kinda be holds perfect, her shoulders. I'll be perfectly fine. Okay. Make sure that Shion's okay. When you guys are ready. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll reconvene during the 30-minute call and figure out what our next step is. For now, if I can find everybody and bring them here, that'll be faster. If not, I'll talk to you then. Okay, please hurry. Okay, at this point, uh, uh, Damien, what are you doing with Flux? Question of the day. <laughs> Marco, <laughs> There's an innocent Perry. child with him. <laughs> no, she left. Eden. Oh, yeah, no, leave bail, bro. So wait, so Damien, do you say Marco? Yeah. Flux says, Polo. <laughs> no, you're, you're not supposed to say that. It's the, the, if there's a person in here, they're supposed to say Polo, Flux. Uh, I'm in here, aren't I? Am I not a person to you? Fair point. Yes, of course. Of course you are. <laughs> I'm just, just making smiles sure. and smirks and chuckles. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> this girl's so All right, <laughs> what are we laughing about? <laughs> oh, never you mind your sweet little brain. What are we in here for? To find oh, Eden or to explore? Sweet. We're here to find Eden. Uh, at this point, Grace Velger kind of hops out and starts hopping around the library. Good. Do you do do that? Even though I didn't command you to do that, but <laughs> scout the library, Grace <laughs> Velger. <laughs> He's hopping around, getting into hard to, hard to reach places. He has a sense for valuable things. He's gonna probably find a book or three. That's pretty rare. Do you like reading, Damien? I do. I do quite a bit. Hmm. It's uh, a way to pass the time, really. What if they don't have any pictures? Well, you just kind of visualize it in your head. Hmm. You make the pictures up yourself. So when you read a book, there are pictures. You're just making them up. Interesting. She pulls out a little notebook, and you realize it looks just like the frog notebook that you have, and she's jotting down in it. Oh my god. I'm like, well, I guess that's... Tough. I mean, <laughs> that's good, but you don't, you don't have other frog merchandise, do you? Just a few things. Did it? Christ, Felga, we need to check the stash. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure nothing's missing from the inventory. <laughs> Hit her with that copyright, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll invest investigation as you're looking around the library. Eight. Total? Total. Uh, Flux rolled pretty poorly as well. So while you're exploring, you're, you're expecting to be like looking at different areas, but she's just kind of sticking with you and following you instead. So mm -hmm. you don't really get that much done. But we can conclude that Eden is not here. Right. You find nothing about Eden. You do find a few books, but they seem pretty boring, pretty basic. A couple of things about, um, you know, like the agriculture of the 20th floor. One book that does catch your attention talks about creatures of the 20th floor, Shinwei, uh, and it has like little inserts that kind of goes into detail about their biology and their history and, you know, where they're from originally and all that stuff. Fantastic beast is where to find them. <laughs> it's the book, Flux book. It's the what? <laughs> it's the book. <laughs> what book? On fantastic beasts and where to find them. 
Right. Okay. Well, she's, she's the one who's not having it with me now. <laughs> 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 the table sits. <laughs> we'll table. Was only a matter of time. <laughs> <laughs> She'll see what he's really like. <laughs> She's done with me. <laughs> He's like that 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess if there's nothing here and there's no presence and no one here is, is, is going to reveal themselves, I guess we'll be on our way. Wait, where's the child? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean Leaf? She left a while ago. Wait, why? It was safer she probably to stick together. wanted you and I to spend some time together. She knows how long it's been. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Speaking really of which, think? and she just walks closer to you. We are alone, you know. We are against indeed. the book stacks, flux. We very much are alone <laughs> indeed. Just you and me. And in my left hand, my briefcase full of chocolate bars. <laughs> oh no! Oh, you want a rematch? Is that it? <laughs> oh, it's on. You only won last time because there were there's not enough chocolate bars. But the syndicate has provided me with many resources. <laughs> I can now afford a whole briefcase full of, of chocolate bars. <laughs> and you know I've been practicing. Well, I've been practicing twice as hard. Oh. So, good. Oh. let's find a table. Oh. Twice the pride, double the fall. Yes! Mm. All right, you, you find a nearby table, and we're going to cut to Wu, who is... Uh, He's a, he's a that might have been the, that actually might have been the, the first time it was like seamlessly woven into the dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done, other show. I approve of this. I applaud that. One. Oh man. Okay. Uh, okay. Can I? Can I just um, the higher my scout roll, the more I can see in the immediate area. Can we do that? Yeah. Right. That's basically what it is already. Okay. But I, normally I send it down like a specific path. I don't feel like doing that. Oh, you're saying you just kind of want to do a general assessment? Yeah. So, yeah, we can say that, like, you're kind of scouting, like, you send it down one hall, another hall. Um, okay. We'll count it as kind of all one thing. Oh, I thought that was a nat one for a second. It's actually Ooh. an 11. Oh, my 11. goodness. I was about to say, so... Uh, <laughs> Your observer plus. breaks? I'm just kidding. So... <laughs> you <Yo>, imagine. <laughs> that's a st actually, that's a 17. I forgot my wisdom is higher now. Uh, 17. Okay, okay. So your observer's heading down this way. As far as it goes, you know that this is going to end up taking you um, towards the location that it's going to end up is kind of unclear. So you don't mm -hmm. think that they're that way. South, it literally leads to a dead end. You're, okay. It's like you're very uh, question, you're questioning what's path. path. Now this take. path, as you head down here, you sense talking in this direction. Is that a path to the south? East? Or, yeah, like down here. There is another path to the southeast. You can't quite tell what's down there. Okay. Um, well, I'm just going to go this way so I can quickly discern who's over here. There we are. So you're hearing the dialogue, you know, people talking. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, roll perception for me. Uh -oh. 16 plus 6 is... 20-something. 22, yeah. 22. You hear the clear sounds of combat up ahead. You're hearing Shinsu being fired, and you're hearing armor clanking. Okay, I'm going to go here. Should I not see Leaf before I get there? You're, yeah, so right as you're coming around the corner, using your observer, you do see Leaf fighting a certain individual as you turn the corner. This person is wearing a full set of steel armor. They're wearing a steel helmet that kind of protects them as well. They have a huge tower shield and a spear in his, in, in his hand. And he's striking and pull, you know striking at Leaf and she's nimbly ducking and trying to shoot Shinsu at him, but it seems like the fight right now is at a stalemate. Leaf, what's going on? Woo, we gotta defeat this guy. I don't know who he is. Oh, one thing, it's another. All right. One the man, sec. the man stops and turns towards you. My name is Captain Nyal. Nobody asked you. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Like, like, like Elden Ring Captain now? Or... <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Never mind. No, nobody cares. Nobody cares what your name is. Stay away from. <laughs> <laughs> stay away from my apprentice. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll, roll initiative for me here. Oh man, disrespected his whole career, bro. <laughs> no one asked her. I'd love to see it. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Uh, five. Ah, okay. Whoops. So Leaf got a really high initiative roll. Oh, let's go, Leaf. Mm -hmm. uh, but you are gonna go last here. Okay, that's okay. He's still attacking cool. Leaf anyway. Actually, no, he looked at me. Get him, Leaf. Right. So, so right when he turns towards you, Leaf shoots a bang of Shinsu out of her palms. I'm not gonna count that roll because I didn't really roll it. <laughs> and <laughs> so, <laughs> it was another one, but I it wasn't even a roll. So, all right, here we go. There we go. <laughs> my life flashed before my eyes. Y'all were gonna be so mad. Uh, so, Leaf does hit with the attack. Go, Leaf. Dealing uh, da -da -da, seven Big damage. Rolls. Yeah. As he as it crashes into his armor and uh, he kind of you know lets out a little uh, grunt. He's kind of looking between you. Don't you want to do an introduction before we fight? It's only proper. You know, I was a little rude there. I saw you attack and leave. I got, I got a little angry. Sure, what is your name again? Nail, Nile, whatever you said. He bows. My name is Captain Yall. I'm the captain of the guard here at House Lindquist. I also oh. have the honor of being a cousin of Lord Signe. Oh, so you're worth points. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> You're part of the family, right? I am indeed. Good. So we're not wasting time here. <laughs> My name is Wu. You've met Leaf already. And indeed. it's not too late to scurry on back from whence you came. A knight does not retreat. Uh, this guy, he you can tell, even based on his helmet and everything, he's bald. Uh, he's muscled, but he has a very plain looking face. Well, I will do the great. honor of defending House Lindquist. Defend? You all brought us here. Uh, he runs towards you with his spear. And he's not that quick, but he does have technique. Uh, oh, okay. 21! Wow. <laughs> wow. Space. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Go ahead and take uh, 9 damage. As he strikes you realize, with his spear. You, you realize that I'm still injured, right? <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is not good, bro. Who dealt you those oh, injuries? Man. Uh, big dude. Crazy collection of Shinwei in his office. Kind Cousin of Roar! Dead. So you're the one who defeated Cousin Roar. Roar. Yeah, he was, uh, interesting. I respect that. You'll be a worthy opponent. Okay. Sure thing. If you just... It's, you, you respect Roar, right? I'm sorry? You respect Roar? I do indeed. He's a well, man of his he, word. He kind of dealt me some injuries that I'm recovering from, and if you really are the man of honor you claim you are, you'll give me a second or two to catch my breath before we fully engage. You don't understand. Roar left me this job, and I will finish it. Now, if you'd like, I will send you to the prison cell. You only need to give me your back for ten seconds. Bro, what's that? Oh, like the way you said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'll just go ahead and take my turn. James. All right, your turn. Uh, I'm actually going to not leave. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to bind this guy next turn. I can't allow him to attack me again. Uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> sure. His eyebrows kind of perk up when you say bind. Yeah, he's too slow to avoid it. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to use uh, Kesiki style second win. Perfect. Go ahead and make that roll. I forgot you got that ability. Let's go. Yeah, I knew it was more essential than the other one, so I had to choose it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see what we got. And then I add wisdom? Yes. So my wisdom is plus four, so I should get 12 back. Yeah. So All suddenly, right. uh, do you want to describe just briefly, or? Uh, yeah. So y'all know that how John be breathing on people. I just take a deep breath, you know. I don't like to share <laughs> my, I, you know, I just, you know. You don't share. Calmly, calmly breathing. Right. And the Shinsu kind of 
flows into my body and disseminates. Mm -hmm. And my wounds heal slightly. Perfect. Okay. Do you uh, back away at all? Uh, will he get an attack of opportunity if I do? He will. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so you stay put. At this point, it's Leaf's turn. You know what? I gotta pop up her uh, her character sheet. Uh, ba -da -ba -da, ba -da -ba -da. Character sheets. Leaf new. Okay. So suddenly, she puts her hands forward and starts motioning them up, and vines start to grow around his legs, kind of climbing up his legs. So he needs to make a strength save. He fails. Yeah, Lee! Hey. The vines wrap around his body, and you can tell if the armor is weighing him down as he's trying to break free. And he takes... Piercing. Eight piercing damage. That was a high roll. Oh. My girl, Lee. What is this? What is this? What are you doing to me? No, strength. <laughs> his turn. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. It's his turn, so he's going to try to break free. He does break free. Ow. <laughs> Bursts out of the vines. But he turns towards Leaf now. And he looks kind of back at Wu. You know what? I will let you rest. But only if you let me and the child have a one-on-one -on -one fight. Kind of peer over your shoulder. Leaf, you think you can handle that? Yeah. Yeah. If she says she can do it, she can do it. Just don't be sad when you get embarrassed. <laughs> Fine then. And he turns and uh, charges towards Leaf. Do you do you attack him as he runs with the attack of opportunity? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> right? on every side of our mouth. So nice, bro. bro. <laughs> this sh this shivery thing has nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> do you know who this team is? <laughs> yeah, have you met Wu? So roll a d20 then, as if it was a regular attack. That's an 8. Uh, total? No, what do I add to it? You add your, Dex. so, whatever your stat, so, yeah, dex plus proficiency, which is two. Oh, okay. So then, 12? 12, okay. You try to strike him, but it bounces off of his armor as he dashes towards Leaf. And you can tell he turns back and looks kind of a little bit offended by that. I just, I just look at my, my hand slip. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and he, uh, he swings his spear at Leaf, but she kind of just... Ducks back a little bit and easily dodges the attack. Ooh. Your turn, Woo. Move the dodge. Uh. Okay. Uh, let's go. For second win. Uh, you can only use it once per long rest. That's what it says. I, right. I, yeah. Sir. I just read that. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well. I mean, I'm already getting involved in the fight. I might as well cash out my SP. Um, let's, uh -huh. do, let's, let's go with good old Mizaru. See what we're doing <laughs> today. All right. So go ahead and make that animal handling check. Oh, dude, I think I just barely. Oh, yeah, shoot. I just got it. <laughs> I just got it. Okay, nice, All nice. Right. Okay, okay. Mizaru appears out of nowhere and starts motioning, moving his hands towards Nyal. And let me go ahead and see. So, uh, what is the saving throw for this? I believe it's wisdom. Uh, let me check. Yeah, okay. I, I see it now. I couldn't find it. Yep. Come on, Mizaru. Nyal fails! Yeah, Mizaru touches his Mizaru. eyes. <laughs> what is this abomination? And suddenly, <laughs> when uh, Mizaru jumps away, he's just, why is it so dark? What's happening? <laughs> there, there, buddy. It's not too late to let us go about our business. I'm sure Aurora wouldn't mind. This is not good. Send them to jail. Send them so to jail. at this point, Damien, what are you and Flux doing? Are you staying in the library to, for the chocolate, right? Is that right? Joe, jo maybe, maybe Joe's not here. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I was going to cut to them, but we'll just... Oh, I'm, oh I'm, there you I'm, are. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Uh, do we hear what's going on? So, outside, roll perception. Or... Roll perception. I was just going to say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a natural one. <laughs> that good chocolate, bro. Focused. That's premium chocolate. <laughs> Is it the chocolate or now, the even, even my wisdom, my plus five wisdom can't save me. <laughs> <laughs> so, at, at this point... You see Flux's ears kind of perk up, and she 
tilts her head for a second, and then she's like, "Do I use that opportunity see. to win? To win?" So you haven't started yet. This is why you're heading towards the oh, I table or setting it up. You're getting the chocolate bars ready. You okay, notice she right. kind of turns for a second, then she turns back and says, "Let's eat some chocolate." Oh my god! Yeah, well, I'm, I'm like a box right now. I'm like preparing. You know, I'm just like no jab, jab. <laughs> you know, I'm just slapping my face. You know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, so <laughs> we'll cut back to the fight then. <laughs> so, well, you... The two healthiest players <laughs> in the entire team. That's so true, actually. They have taken Just no damage. <laughs> They're going to go eat chocolate, even though they heard a battle raging outside. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Wait, so... I, didn't, I didn't hear it. <laughs> well, yes, true. you didn't hear anything. So Leaf kind of, ba uh, she tries to back away, but she doesn't, uh, she chooses not to. She tries to shoot Shinsu at him, but this time it bounces off of his armor. <laughs> she kind of grits her teeth. <sighs> where are you? And he, you can tell he's kind of trying to strike with his spear down and down and trying to guess where she might be. Now, it looks like he's just about to hit, but because of the blindness, he hits the wall instead, and it bounces off of the wall right before it hits Leaf. Your turn, Woo. Eve, remember I told you about big oafs like this? Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess I'm not getting any health back. Let's go in. I rolled a 12. I'm just going for a basic attack. I actually have to save what little TP I have left. Wait, wait. So what were you rolling for? Just a basic attack with my staff. Okay, so you run up to him. A total of 12? Uh, Yes. That's adding your dex and proficiency. No. <laughs> he do you do get advantage. That is wait, true. You wait, 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 wait. But, but no, that didn't add that. So technically, it would be seventeen. I'll never do that, bro. You're fine. So, so okay, you do hit then. Go ahead and roll again because you have advantage and you might get a crit. Get a crit. Eleven. No, okay. okay. So it hits. Go ahead and roll for damage. Oh, it's been a long time since I've done a basic attack. 1d6. Yeah. Uh, four. Four, times okay. Two. So eight. Times two? Yeah. No, you don't get a times two. Only if it's a crit, you would uh, times two. Oh, uh, I got you, I got you. I got yeah, you. so four damage, and you also get a TP as you strike him because of your uh, passive feature. Right, right, right. Okay. You strike him and he kind of, <clears throat> he just grunts, but you can tell he's kind of just ignoring you. It's Leaf's turn again. <sighs> okay, this time for sure. Come on, Leaf. And it bounces off of his armor once again. Hey. He brings up his shield, we'll say this time. Even though he's blind, he's hiding behind the shield. I don't know what foul trickery this is, but I am Njal Tursk. I can do this. It's <laughs> like, what the heck? I lost my dice. Uh, I'll just bring out the blue ones. Blue, it's your turn to shine. All right. Boom. Boom. So despite the blindness, he lands this attack on Leaf. Oh, the Dealing. Blue the blue one's away. The one's away. <laughs> <laughs> bring those green ones back. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Uh, wait, hold on. Sorry. Uh, she took some damage earlier. What's her HP? Is... Okay, so he does five damage as he slashes here with his spear. I was about to say, we can't have another Pokemon down. I'm totally... We can't, we can't afford to have another Pokemon down. I'm totally fine. Your turn, Woo. It's a man that's really trying my patience. <laughs> uh, can I position my... This is such a narrow hallway. It I is, guess yeah. I can't get to, like... Uh, He's literally just sandwiched between us, right? Like, there's nowhere yep. for us to be. Yep. Okay. Um... Oh, you are flanking. You get the flanking bonus. Yep. Forgot about that, which means... Yeah, but I can't do an attack that would also hit Leaf, nor can I hit him right. towards Leaf. Okay. I, I'm missing two attacks right now. Sure. I'm just gonna do a breaking strike. Okay, breaking strike it is. So I believe you roll for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright, 13. Did you roll Does, twice? That, is that, wait. Oh, yeah, advantage. advantage. So roll twice, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's way better. 18. Okay, that does hit. Um, And now roll for damage. Uh, 1d8? Yeah, plus strength. Okay. Let's see. Oh, my God, and I got an 8. 
Nice. Is Yano the only one that rolls well? Come on. Oh, my strength is actually pretty high these days. Uh, 13. 13? So that you don't... Wait, hold on. So it's... Oh, no, no, no. Wrong, 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 wrong. Yeah, okay. Same throw. You're fine, uh, you're fine. So 10, 10, 10, 10. 10, okay, yeah. So you bring down, you strike him on the back of his helmet. And you can tell that does some significant damage. He kind of just shakes his head, though, and continues to fight. It's Leaf's turn. I'm going to try this again. And vines grow around him. He gets it. It, it works again. The vines right. wrap up around his legs. Dealing another eight damage. She's rolling pretty high. Let's go, Leaf. The, the 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 thorns have got she's improved so much of this ability and woo you're noticing this that the the thorns are like seeping in like through his armor and kind of finding little holes and cracks in his armor not surprised okay it is now his turn these vines shall not contain me they contained him uh yeah! <laughs> yeah! <Let's go! laughs> So he has to take more damage. So that's going to be four more damage as the vines continue to sink into him. Tablet time. This is a disgrace. I'm failing them so much. Mm. After all the kindness they've shown me and my family. This guy is very overdramatic. Yeah, you, seem like such you don't a nice say. Guy. <laughs> you, know? you seem like such a nice guy, but we already beat Roar. What makes you think you can beat us? It's your turn, Wu, and you notice the blindness leaves his eyes. So I see you can see again. Get these off of me! The vines? Sure thing, buddy. Sure thing, Leaf. Are we getting them off? Sure, of course we are. <laughs> I'm going for a forceful thrust for All zero right. EP because I'm in stance. Yes, perfect. Forceful right. thrust. You're not serious, dude. I got five. No, five. Okay. So you you grin. You try to make the attack, but now oh wait. You're at advantage still. So oh you're yeah. flanking. You're flanking. No 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 no. I'm not in. A, am I? Yeah, you're flanking. Yeah, because you're flanking. Oh, because I'm flanking. Oh, yes, no, no longer because of the blind. Oh, because he didn't turn because he's... Uh... Oh, and that's it. That, that's, that's an 18. Nice. That hits. There you go. There you go. All right. So that's going to be... Because if you weren't flanking, it would be the vines, too. Uh, one... Right, right. Wait, what is weight this force will thrust? 1d8 plus strength bludgeoning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Five? Five, okay, and he has to make a strength save. Do you want? Do you want to hit him hard no, enough no, to no, no, push no. back? You don't want to do I that. I can't because Leaf is like literally you. on the other side. Perfect. Okay, he takes five damage. He now, he's breathing super heavily. You are strong. I see how you defeated Goliath and Roar. <laughs> Leaf looks at him. We're gonna send you to prison now, okay? Never. I'll continue fight, and then she pulls out the tablet. And while he's on the, you know, being grappled, she holds it to his back. Yeah, let's go, Leaf. Ten, nine, eight. It is his turn. Last turn for the vines. He does manage to break out of the vines oh. this time. He does have advantage on strength saving throws. Mm -hmm. uh. We'll complicate things, Mr. Man. And he whips his spear around. Uh, well, actually, yeah, he's going to try to knock a Leaf back. He does manage to do so. No. Is she still holding the tablet? Yep. He does uh, four damage to Leaf. Shing. Oh, so, no, she's not longer, not to his back this time. Uh, no, I mean, she like, still has she it. Have it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she kind of just braces for the blow. Your turn, Woo. <sighs> uh, can I use acrobatics to jump over him towards Leaf's side without him getting an attack of opportunity? Is that impossible? Um, say it again, sorry. So I want to leap over his head so I'm on the same side as Leaf, but I don't want him to get an attack of opportunity on me. Right. Acrobatics, but I don't know. That would be acrobatics, but I think that would also take up your turn if you did that. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, then yeah, you can do that. Okay. Do acrobatics. 14? I oh, no, plus 3, 15. Yeah, that works. You're able to do it. 
Oh. So you flip through the air and land behind Leaf. Perfect. Well, he pushed Leaf back. I want to be in front of Leaf because you said he pushed her back, right? So yeah, yeah, well, yeah, but it wasn't enough to be five feet. Is the thing? Uh, this is only five feet. Okay. Yes. Fair enough. I, I'm behind Leaf. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, Mister. Looks like I gotta knock you out first. Then she th shoots a Shinsu bang into his face. Nice. Mm. What are you? And it hits him in the head. And he kind of topples. And then just falls backward unconscious. Let's go, Leaf! My girl! Da 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 I, I didn't even need to be here. What are you doing here, actually? I didn't even think about that. Where's, oh, where's Lux and Damien? They're in the library. And she points behind her. <laughs> Don't okay, we found her. Eden, and I'm not disturbing whatever that is, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't walk in either. Okay. Um, and suddenly, all of you notice this. Your tablets start to light up. <laughs> I gotta bookmark this. There it is. The number nine location gets filled in. Y'all, two points. Oop. Well, he was trash. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, you have five roar, seven bow, and nine y'all. You're going. You're um, doing by twos. Are we just saying that we're automatically put the tablet to his back and send him to the prison? Yeah. Oh, sir. Sorry. So that's. Yeah. I that meant to say that first, yes. Because she said she, knock him out, so... Yep, he's not dead. She puts it to his back, and he's sent to the prison. And also your bingo sheets light up. That is not bingo. There it is. Uh, I'm going to copy this. Where is it? Uh, this one gets covered. Oh. The night. Um, I really am curious. Has 30 minutes not passed yet? Nope, not quite. Mm -hmm. Almost, though. All right, well, we're getting away from this library. You, you guys can do whatever you're doing. Let's, let's... <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, we're going to briefly cut to uh, Damien. You are with Flux Falk, currently at the table with the Stop. chocolate. The fight of my life. I've waited so long for this moment. <laughs> and it's time! And I get into a chocolate eating stance. She does too. She does too. Very, very, you know, she's she's done this before. She's practiced, you can tell. Um, how many bars are there? A whole briefcase full. Just a whole yeah. briefcase full. What are the rules? Whoever eats more chocolate bars wins. Same as last time. Sounds good. Yeah, Grace Burger to uh, officiate this little referee uniform. And <laughs> oh, and, re and record it because we're going to need the moment, evidence of this. Oh, yeah. The moment you no, this is you know, it's an on, it's an honorable thing, you know. Like mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. we can keep track we can keep track of our own. We're professionals. <laughs> okay. Don't try, don't try this at home, folks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Looks at the camera. Uh, where is my dice? The amount of chocolate is near limitless. So the only. The only thing is the limit of your stomach. Then this should be easy. This contest is <laughs> mine. My stomach. Her throat, <laughs> her throat is long, Damien. <laughs> super long. Are you ready? I will go even further beyond. Three, ready. two, one. Roll athletics. Mm, <laughs> eight. <laughs> That's adding up everything? Yes! Alright, she's clearly faster than you as she's snagging the chocolate bars. Uh, my internal voice, unbelievable! <laughs> I can't believe this! <laughs> okay. Get a hold of yourself, Damien! You've been training for this! <laughs> now roll sleight of hand. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, Damien, no! 
so she rolled a she rolled a 19 so she is just like you're trying to go for some bars and everyone you go for she's stealing it from you like every single uh time so it's throwing oh. you off Dude, she unlocked the flash yeah. bro you're done <laughs> she's pretty late just be happy there roll acrobatics 19 <laughs> that time you're able to surpass her yes here we go <laughs> You're just stuffing as many chocolate bars as you can into your mouth. All right, athletics again. I don't know. Uh, uh, fourteen. Okay, she wins. And then one final sleight of hand. Uh, Channel the power of the syndicate. Uh, Sixteen. <laughs> The briefcase is dissipating. Damien, you're starting to get full. But the entire time, she completely outpaces you. It's not even close. And at the oh. point you're starting to get full, she's just she just kind of stops. Are we done? She's a bottomless pit, yo. <laughs> Maybe one day, bro. Maybe one day. I get, I get out of my chair. <laughs> Put my arm on the on like one of the bookshelves. Put my head down on my arm. Oh no! Defeated again. Harry Spelger hops on your shoulder and kind of gives you a little pat. I have brought shame to everyone around me. It was a good run, Damien, but I'm still the champion. It was a good win. I can see defeat. I give you the title of King of Games. Thank you. I'm honored. <laughs> but this does not mean it's over. He's turning the Kaiba. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back again and again, and I will win. <laughs> You don't seem to understand. I'm training twice as hard as you at the chocolate eating contest. Bro, all I'm saying is next chocolate eating con contest is not going to stand at the edge of a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> if you defeat me, I'll be <laughs> Wow. Oh, by the way, there was a fight that just finished outside. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, your friends almost died. <laughs> Don't worry, they're Wait. fine. How do you? Okay. But we can stay in here a little longer, right? Well, I guess you did have something to tell me. Looks like no I have lots I am, to tell you. I am inclined to listen. <laughs> Sounds good to me. We're gonna cut to a certain someone. Brack. <gasps> Slowly, your vision, your vision starts to return. You're, you're starting to see little shapes kind of blurry in your mind. And when you, you open your eyes and you're feeling the cold, hard ground. Oh no. And you're lying down on the floor. Why is it cold all of a sudden? Could have sworn that I was... Did he beat me? No, he didn't beat me. I fell. Yes, I fell. <laughs> mm. Looks like you're awake too, huh? You look over and across... You, you realize it now, but across the room you see... Two indiv you see now three individuals in jail cells, and that's when it starts to click that you two are in a jail cell. And with that, we're going to take our break. We'll cut back here in a moment. Enjoy the memes. Enjoy the fan art. We will, uh, we'll see you shortly. Boom. Ah!
sexist, but okay.
There we go. Welcome back, everybody, to Towers and Gods. Hope you enjoyed the memes and the fan art. As always, phenomenal job. Thank you to everyone who submitted. Uh, it's very fun seeing the Discord active every single week. A uh, bunch of bangers, as always. Shout out to all the people who submitted art in particular, because fire, literally fire. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing stuff. Also, shout out to Hard as B who super chatted during that time. Keep up the good work, y'all. Thank you. Appreciate oh, that. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, that'll help support the show. So thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, now that we're back, don't forget to leave a like if you're having fun, if you're if you're laughing, you're enjoying the show, uh, and you can always check out the other episodes if this is your first time tuning in, uh, and, and you can catch up or whatever you want to do. But we're happy to have you along for the ride. But um, yeah, I think we'll just hop back into it. We got a lot of ground that we have to cover. So we're going to start with Brack. We're going to do a solo session. So if everybody could please mute. Oh, farewell. Goodbye, everyone. We'll see you shortly. OK, so Brack, at the moment, you it's starting to click in your head that you are in a prison cell. You're the only one in your cell, as far as you can see. I look around, or Brack looks around, tries to get his bearings a little bit, even though he's mad groggy from being taken down by Lim Lim. Mm -hmm. He looks over at that voice that he heard with the person that was loud, and he just sh sh shouts back at him. Why? Why do you? Why do you have to be so loud? And just yo, can't you see that I was unconscious over here? Are you trying to give me a concussion? <laughs> oh, you bunch are pretty funny, aren't you? You see Roar is the one who's mostly talking. Long, shaggy hair, the crazy face. But the, the there's, there's another two people in the cell with him, but they both appear to be unconscious. You see Bo, the little boy, he's kind of curled up in a corner. With, you see holes all over his body where he was, he's was he been bleeding out. He's been bandaged at this point, but you can tell he's been seriously injured. And then you see a man who's completely knocked out in a full set of armor. And then you see Roar, who's just kind of sitting there. So tell me, which one of my family members took you down? No one took me down. I trip and fell. Right, right. And if I use the same excuse, would you believe me? <laughs> mm, no, I'm pretty sure one of my companions beat you. You look weak. Take a guess. Which one? Oh. Uh. If I look at the uh, boy over there, he seemed to have holes in him, which looks like the handiwork of our leader. And if I take a look at the guy that's in full clad armor, the armor doesn't look busted. So I know that wasn't Jung. Jung would have torn him asunder. <laughs> Could have been, I don't know. It definitely wasn't the frog. The frog would have obliterated him. Have you seen his cards? <laughs> The fro you mean the vampire man? Yes, let's call him that, Sir Vamp. Uh, but yes, he would have he would have drained him of all of his blood. And so, if I rule all of them out, I want to say it was it was Wu. Uh, your deductive reasoning's pretty good. Yeah, it was the champion, all right. He packs a punch, but I gotta say he didn't do it alone. That coon and the. Even the little, uh, the little girl, they were pretty good. They were worthy <laughs> opponents. I have You're no being by leave. <laughs> <laughs> she contributed a little bit, yes. But again, I have no regrets. Well, let me guess. Leaf is the weakest member of your team. <laughs> oh, no. Not by any not by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just laughing at you because you got beat by a little girl. You should feel pretty bad about yourself. Look at you. Hmm. Treating yourself like you're a big scrappling young man when you're really out here getting beat by a little 16-year-old girl. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> and you look wounded. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. <laughs> Wait till I tell the gang. And then You're I not leaving this prison. Ever. Say what? You're never leaving. Who said that I I can leave if I want to right now? 
Be my guest. Don't worry. Um, let me just hold up. I'm still wounded, right? Yeah, you have like one HP. One HP. Push, you can go ahead and put one HP there. Yeah, you're you ate. You're aching all over. Honestly, it's impressive that you managed to wake up this soon. Okay. So what I want to say is, with my harpoon, I drag my body across the floor, <laughs> over the bow. No, no, no. So, so, so they are in different a different cell. Oh, different cell. Across cells? the room. Yeah. So you're talking to them across the room. Uh, they're in a different cell than you. Ah, uh, I was hoping we was all in the same cell. Okay. Yeah, no. Well. <sighs> so I can't. I can't. You, you, you're serious. I can't get out of here. Well, if I can't get out of here, how about we make a proposition? What kind of proposition, huh? I'll let you join the syndicate and become my lackey. You can have riches beyond your wildest dreams. I'll even get you a floor if you want. All you have to do is set me free and release me back to my friends. <laughs> Roll persuasion. Uh, I believe that's 16. Oh, come on, you expect me to believe that load of rubbish? A whole floor? You're nothing but a regular. If I was able to move, I would be able to show you wonders beyond your wildest dreams. I would be able to show you something that not just an ordinary regular can do. I would show you the world. <laughs> or the tower in specific. You're an interesting fit. What's your name? Again, I didn't catch that. They call me Double B. <laughs> it stands for Big Brack. But if you really need to know the full name, they call me the Braun. Bronson, to be correct. You have a lot of names. I'll call you Double B. Listen, Double B. Interesting proposition. If you do manage to survive all this, how about this? And he leans forward. Your friends are pretty strong. There's a tiny, tiny chance that they can be my family. I doubt it. But if they do, promise me that you won't kill me. And then we'll talk. The only way I can promise you your life is if you can get me out this cell. If I remain in this cell, I'm going to encourage them to kill you. Because that is the syndicate way. I'm in this cell... I'm in jail too. I got defeated fair and square. You got what defeated fair feel? and square, but you're also a part of this family that un unrightfully put me in this prison. Did you know that 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 there's a certain someone in your family that's a liar? He looked me right in my eyes and told me that we don't have to fight anymore. And then he turned around after someone came and surprise attacked him and tried to attack <laughs> me again. Ah, that sounds like our leaf. The hero of kindness. I always hated that name. I don't know anyone by leaf. I I, I have heard of one of your family members known as Limla. That that's what? that's who I know. Nah, I can tell by your wounds. You were taken down by Leaf. Don't know a leaf. His name is Limla. But if I was <laughs> taken down, he won because I tripped. If I would have never tripped, so, the fight would have, I would have won the fight. So okay? at, at, <laughs> at this point, you notice in another cell, the little boy is starting to move. Uh, mama, mama. Looks like mama whooped your butt. <laughs> and then uh, Roar kind of looks over. You know, I bet you Bo gave him a run for their money. He might be a wimp, but I'll admit his toys are pretty impre- And he stops talking. Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like you're in for some trouble. <laughs> he gives this evil-looking grin. Roll perception. That's it don't matter. It'll be 10, I think. 10, because I think I have plus 3 for that. Yeah, 10. 10. You don't sense anything. When Roar is talking and he kind of looks up, you're just 
you don't sense anything around you. It partly, probably because you're so injured. But then suddenly, from the shadows, you hear another voice say, Mind if we have a talk? I would if you actually came out of the shadows and showed yourself. Otherwise, I don't talk to strangers. Stranger danger was the first lesson that I was taught from my dad. You hear the jingling of keys as suddenly you hear your door getting unlocked. And it slowly, it opens just slightly and you see a shadow step into the room. It's kind of dark in here, only very dim lighting, so it's hard to tell. And then it shuts, locking. And you hear slow footsteps towards you. And into the light, you see a very, very skinny uh, a woman in a long cape with a little uh, kind of one cape, one robe, I guess, that kind of dangles all, all through uh, from top to bottom. And they're wearing a mask that kind of covers up to here and short hair that falls down to, the, down to her shoulders. And she walks up to you. And then she, she pulls out a knife. I have a few questions. Oh no, the Phantom of the Opera is going to kill me. <laughs> ah, as you can see, I can't even use my legs. So you pulling out that knife isn't even going to work. I've been at the brink of death. I don't even know how many times in my life. Do you honestly think that I fear going to be one with the Shinzu? <laughs> Why don't you put down that knife? And we have a civilized conversation like two adults. And it's a shame because Brack is the one telling so, you that. So while you're talking, suddenly the knife slams into your knee. Piercing. No if damage. I felt, if I felt it, I would... Ugh, I don't feel that. I'm numb. I'm numb. Well, I don't get why you don't understand that, but what do you want to talk about? Like, what do you... Sink. The knife gets pulled from your skin. You're pretty tough. And you see them clean the blade. Tell me, where are you from? So you want to know Brack's life story, huh? Keep it quick. I don't have all day. Why, why do you want to know about... Let me cut to the chase. How much money do you got? You're trying to rob me? Do you think I hold the money? I have 10 points. I'm broke. Brack doesn't carry cash. Bring out your pocket. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I am uh, physically crippled and I can't move. <laughs> I can't even speak anymore. <laughs> so suddenly your other leg, <laughs> the knife sinks into your other knee. Bring out your pocket. Now. And you see her face up close, it's super pale, kind of slimy looking. Uh, Brack tries to figure out how to bring out his pocket. He said, Brack is too dumb to bring out his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> say, is, is, say visible mode. As a visible, as a ball. Visible mode. Duh. Invisible mode. If you do this one more time, I might take your life. You don't got the grapes, but visible more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your pocket pops up and she, she kind of grabs it. Pull up your points now. Can't believe that Brock is getting shaked down in jail. God dad, you took away my freedom and now you're taking away my my currency. This do is it. ridiculous. <laughs> if you do it, I might let you out of this cell. How about we make a trade? No trades. Show me your points. Well, if you kill me, you can't get the points. Show me. Or I might not be so nice. If you don't be so nice, you still don't get the point. So how about we, we make a trade? We have people who can hack into your pocket. No problem. Even if you're dead. May I ask you, have you heard of pocket self-destruction? <laughs> Roll persuasion. <laughs> 19. 
19. <laughs> Big 19. Her, you can tell her eyebrows kind of furrow. Go on. I have my pocket linked to my Shinsu force. So if I were just so happened to change my Shinsu in any sort of manner, it will cause my pocket to destroy. You must believe me, for I am an engineer. He's double B, says Roar from across the room. What do you want? Can't you see that I'm negotiating over here? Goddamn, Lemons don't understand the. That's an up syndicate business. But, but where would you. What do you want? Suddenly, she turns. She brings up her pocket and walks to a corner of the cell and is whispering. Roll perception. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. 18. 18. Okay. You managed to catch a few words. Help and Astrid. The pocket vanishes. I'll be back in a minute. Don't go anywhere. Oh, wait. You can't move. How about Remember? this? If you heal me now, or you at least give me back my mobile functionality and my legs, I'll give you half of my points. We'll talk when I return. Brings out her keys and opens the cell door and then shuts it. High table question, real yep. quick. Yep. My pocket is out right now. Yes. Would it be possible for me to send them a message? When you try to, it is blocked. Uh, it is blocked. God dang on Shinsu Jamas. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they always get you. All right. So with that, we're going to cut back to the rest of the group. Uh. Ha! Welcome back, everyone! Ha! Yay! You weren't Hello, freaking Joe. out or anything? The end has come. Looks like you guys were having a good time over mm -hmm. here. Oh, you know. Volume just, and sound. Dad's just laughing, you know? The episode's not over, right? <laughs> no, it's far from over. No, no. Okay, good. Okay. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's still a few things. I don't. I, that would be so. Have I ever done that where I've ended on a mute yes. section? That would yes. be. Yeah. Wait, I did. That's right. I yes. forgot about that. Oh we're shoot! Like, I think we were so better. scared, bro. <laughs> Brack died because I, I have a clause where if Brack dies, I have to die too because it's the syndicate law. Oh wow! Wow. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, um. So at this point, I'm gonna say Fluxvolk, Damien. You know. Is it safe to say that everyone's kind of finished their business and is now kind of meeting back together? Now that you've all, you finished the fight, you finished the chocolate eating contest. Wasn't Luxfolk gonna tell me something or? Is it? So Fluxfolk no ends up conveying that she can tell everyone. Mm hmm, okay. Yeah. It's kind of the, one of the only times she seems to be okay with meeting back up with everyone. We went to the East Room. My one logistic thing is, we all can't be in the East Room though, right? Like, how is this even happening? So, when you approach the East Room, it seems as though you are able to enter. All of you. Uh, welcome. Yeah. It seems as though whatever was holding you back before no longer exists. <laughs> all right. Link we, was we, we, slide my... <laughs> we go and meet up. We meet up with everyone. All right. All right. I keep yelling Marco until someone else yells Polo. <laughs> As I'm walking down the halls. Victor yells Polo. <laughs> nice, Victor. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so... <laughs> They're over here. <laughs> so we have Jong, Damien, Fluxvalk, Eden, Shion, Victor, Leaf. Victor, okay. And Wu. Yes, perfect. Eight of you. The only ones missing are Brack, Laura, and Siliang. You are all in the room. Shion is still unconscious. Still? Even yep. after the healing? Yep. Oh my god. But she's stable though, right? She is stable. Uh, 
I put my hand on Eden's shoulder and I say, I'm glad you guys made it out okay. It seems like everything's all right now that John's here. Yeah. And then I go walk over to Shion. You can and see that she's over. breathing. Sorry. I stand over respectfully. They don't say anything. But I'm just there. So, Jijong, says Fluxfalk. Have you made a move? Fluxfalk, why are you here? That's what I want to talk about. I want to be talking. open. <laughs> oh, I missed that sass. I will. As much as I would love to be here to rescue all of you like damsels in distress, unfortunately it's more complicated than that. Father sent me here on a mission, an Iseer mission. You may not realize this, but House Lindquist has ties to Iseer. They are very powerful regulars, and they are very wealthy. Now. They're not members of the organization. That is a privilege that only belongs to a select few. However, they do fund many of our projects through their wealth. But for the past few years, they haven't been meeting their quotas. And so I've been sent here to investigate. And she kind of tips her hat. <laughs> is that why she has that outfit? She's the real syndicate. <laughs> <laughs> No, we are. We are. <laughs> I don't know, former king of games. <laughs> oh, 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 shoot. Critical hit. <laughs> Emotional damage. I'm sorry, I had to do it once. I had to do it. He had to do it to him. I'm crying over Shion's body. <laughs> no, no, don't get your tears on Shion. Go cry in the corner somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> You're fine. So, I did slip up a little earlier and managed to hurt one of the daughters of the family. But, unfortunately, I'm not going to be participating in any true fights until I get to the root cause of this issue. I hope you understand. We uh, are perfectly fine with that. We're just happy to see you, right, everyone? <clears throat> Busy. Is that right? She looks around. Yes, we're very, very clients. busy. Yes. <sighs> you already know the answer to your question. Why are you asking? The good news about all of this is that if we do manage to all survive this encounter, sorry, if you all survive, Father has given me permission to finally, and she looks just blissful, finally climb the tower with all of you, at least for a few floors. And that is something that I am so very looking forward to. I assume that isn't a problem. Um, <clears throat> Victor clears his throat. Of course it's a problem. Continue, well, Dijon. First of all, we don't know a damn thing about you and your shady organization. All they've done ever since we started climbing this tower is string us along with half-assed and half-true facts. I take so if you want to climb with this team, we're going to need some answers and the truth about this weird organization that you're a part of. First of all, Jijong, I it's take offense. Jong. Right. I take offense at you saying your organization, it's our organization, aside from the small fry, she says towards Victor and Leaf. It's our organization. We're a family, even if you don't realize it. And I think saying, understanding that, is very important. All right. We're a family. Sure. Well, can I ask you a question? If you don't mind. You can tell she's saying it like she doesn't say it very often. <laughs> if you do finish your mission here and end up climbing with us, as you so desperately want, um, are you going to be prioritizing the group or your father's wishes? Hmm, that's a Damien, question. Bro. I haven't thought about it too much. I don't know. What well, do I feel like doing? As much as I would love to have you with us 
team's kind of in a volatile state right now, and if you can't promise me that your priority is us, I'm afraid it's not looking like there's too much room right now. Let what he means is more. that makes you a liability. Would you mind if I made one more proposition? Okay. Damien has told me that you don't have a team leader anymore. A team leader. Wait, I well, did. I wouldn't mind... Well, I found out one way or another. I wouldn't mind stepping into that role for as long as you need one. When hell freezes over. I'd be willing to make the choices needed for our team to thrive. We could climb the tower, find and meet father again. You all could meet... It doesn't seem like your goals and our goals really align. Um, as much as I agree that a leader would be ideal, a leader has to inspire confidence in the people that follow them. And can't say you're trustworthy, Flux. I haven't seen you in four years, five, almost five. You saunter in here, talking as cryptically as you mm. always have. And if your little spider friend walked into the room, would you allow them to join your team? Of course you would. Alexa? Whatever her name is. Who's to say? My point I'm... is, there's some people that you consider friends that you haven't seen in years. Damien has taught me that friends, it doesn't matter if true friends haven't seen each other in years, they're still friends. Damien, you've been teaching her far too much, it seems. I mean... I'm happy she remembered that. Luxvolk, what if we wanted to kill your father? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see that. Really? Truly. Luxvolk, let's get one thing straight. Whatever you are to Iseer, whatever you are to us, whatever we are to Iseer, we are not friends. Hell, if I'm being honest, Half the people in this room aren't friends. We're on a team. We're comrades. We're climbing this tower floor by floor because that's the way it is. Plain and simple. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. I get it. I thought I'd try at the very least. But Damien, you'd allow me to rejoin the team, right? If it were solely up to me, there are a number of benefits to having Flux Folk on the team. One being nobody it's an extra lighthouse, lighthouse user. Look, nobody said we're yeah. barring you. Now is not the time to of discuss course. this, actually. We're wasting time. Of course, Flux's combat capabilities are over and beyond what is uh, what we have, so she has my vote. Really? That's what you think? I mean, Basically yeah, I, 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 she's strong and I don't know capable, about that, and she couldn't she, even finish off her opponent. She no, no, saved no, her what ass. You're, job. What you're saying is, if Flux Volt couldn't beat any one of us in a fight, then she's not worthy to join the team. Is what you're saying? Not necessarily. Look, we can discuss this later. I simply wanted to instill the thought in all of your minds. But and she looks at her pocket. We do have a group call in about thirty seconds, so we should probably prepare for that. Although the news may be... Hmm. We'll see. I have a feeling. This Fox is Hall. the type of stuff I can't stand with you. Yes, Eden, my dear friend. Do you know how to beat the test? Yes. Do you know the best way to beat the test? Yes. What's the best way? What's the fastest, the fastest. way? I'm not going to lie, you all suck at bingo. You've barely made any progress. <laughs> You've barely made any progress. Frankly speaking, I thought you all could do so much better. I mean, look at this. What is this? Really? In all fairness, we don't quite understand exactly how to unlock certain bingo things. And that's because you haven't taken the time to figure out what these symbols could mean. Well, it's apologies that we accidentally ran into battles and encounters that we had no fucking idea what they were. Language, Eden. Actually, I did take the time to think about what these symbols could mean. No thanks to your demeaning attitude. And that's irrelevant if we can't find the locations at which they lie. 
You all have explored much more of this mansion than you realize. And the problem is, you walk through the rooms without examining them fully. The family is treating this like a hunt. They set up traps and bait everywhere. Little treats. And if you ignore all of that, you're missing the point of the game. Pull out my pocket, show her the pictures of me in the honey room and the, and the dining hall. So you're saying I missed something in these two locations. <laughs> Very smart of you, Wu. Yes, you did. Well, that's why I took pictures, Flux, so I could discuss it with my team, which you are not currently a part of. And you're distracting us from what we need to do, as you're not here to help us. I ask that you kindly shut the f up. Agreed. It's time for the group call. You're not part of the group call. She I technically am is. <laughs> I'm the 11th participant, Wu. Well, I can't wait to see what Brack is up to. Your pockets light up. Hi, Table Talk. Um, am I in this? Brack, your pocket does not light up. Oh, no. What about Elite Laura's Syndicate Hill? Number Two to Elite Syndicate Number One? You all Are join you the group call. Do you copy? Brack? Elite, Elite, Elite nice. Syndicate Member Number Hello? One? Brack. Laura. Laura. Silyong. Where are you guys? Nothing. Mm. Any of them? Great. Nope. That means bad news. Well, that's I don't suppose you knew this would be a thing, huh, Flux? Of course she did. I can't. And she smiles. See the future. What do you mean? This isn't good. No, it's not. But we can't all just brazenly rush out and try and fight everyone. No, we're all we're injured. All injured. Oh. Well, what we can do is give the information that we've already got. Me and Jong, we figured out a puzzle how to get into the main throne room. Of which I believe there are two members of the family in there, at the very least. We can't go up against that right now. I do know that Astrid is the number seven of the family, and okay. Lady Linquist is number one. Lady Linquist's weapon of choice is a flail, which I believe it explodes. Was that correct? It's an exploding flail. Did I cut out? Hello? No, I can hear uh, yeah. I don't want to hear anyone. I didn't know who okay, you were sorry. asking. I mean, no, I didn't hear anyone, John so was, was there. I guess Flux was too. Flux just smiles and gives you a nod. Oh. You're so smart, one. Damien. Well, with what we know now, I think we should work on getting the bingo thing done. I agree. I don't think we sh we should try and avoid any direct confrontations, and we need to find out what's going on with Brack, Lauren, and Sileon. But. More importantly, Xion's in a bad state. All of us are injured. How about we just take a rest before we set out and make a plan? That sounds good. We do have infinite time, so... Yeah, but if Brack and Laura and Sileong are in trouble, then we might not have infinite time. Well... I don't think they're gonna show us mercy. Yeah, but us just rushing in there to see what the situation exactly. is and help them might just make things we worse rather than better. We can't go out without a plan, at right. the very least. We should be at least at full strength before we uh, rush into yeah, any I'm encounters. Yeah, about this table, I want to take a re like a substantial rest. I want my stuff back. I want like <laughs> we take a stuff. short. If we take a short rest, like how much? Are we you repaying? you spend your hit die. You currently have three d10 of hit die. You roll those, and that's how many HP, TP, or SP you can restore. Are we even allowed to take uh, a long rest? I, I mean, technically, like, my so, group has taken a long rest, or a short rest, because we've sat in that room for the last 30 minutes. Yep, so you can definitely roll the... Yeah. Roll that. I'm gonna say... I, I, I at least personally want to take a 30 minute. So I'm yeah. just gonna go ahead and roll my stuff and replenish my stuff. I agree with that. I see yeah. everyone in the room is pretty banged up. 
Victor just kind of waves. Sounds good to me. Yeah, this is neat. Can I look at, examine the tablet? Like, does it show, like, are people in the prison? Because isn't there a trading system? There's no information on that. Okay. While we take our short rest, I'm going to keep looking at the our linguist challenge. Uh, did I put it in our chat so you can look at it even if I don't have it yeah. pulled up? Yeah, oh, yeah. we've got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've got it. Woo, didn't you say you were in a, a room with, like, honey? Yeah, there's a couple spots that I found along the way that seem pretty suspicious to me, but well, I made sure be, to document them. That could be that bee. Because they said we need to steal things, maybe we just need to take a jar of honey or whatever's in there. Well, I took a sip of the honey. Nothing happened. Maybe I was not supposed to take a sip, but either way, I remember where everything was, so... Um, I go over if a couple to of us just go back through those places, we can figure it out. I go over to Jong and I ask, remember where we found that so that uh that card on like a sword? Do you think that could be the uh Oh no, we got that one. Yeah. Sorry, but we did there was there's a tower and the place we climbed up in the north on the west side was a tower. There's also the library, which could be where me and Flux Fork will grow. Well there's a book, which could mean library. Right. Right. I'm not sure what that that hula skirt is, but maybe it's a... probably Astrid. Looks like the skirt she wears. Maybe. Oh yeah, there was also a room with a long dining table. Here, here's the picture. A bunch of puppets that look strangely like us, all seated. Hey, that's actual food and drink. Horrifying. Yeah, I thought so too. Okay, I'm gonna chime in. I made a mistake really quick. There should be one more checker on here. Oh. That's completely on me. Right here. When you defeated Terran at checkers. Oh, oh okay. okay. I forgot to put that on here. My bad. Oh, okay, so okay, okay, that okay. should have been there. Okay. So. <laughs> if that's all right, we, everyone we spent, remember when I won it. We spent all the cards we have, right? <laughs> to go through the barrier? Yeah, we spent them all. Yeah. We spent all four. Well, at least the ones in my inventory. What about you guys? Well, Did you, you guys, guys find any? Add any? Well, really? yeah, I don't think. Yeah, we're the yeah. only ones that got cards. All right. Well, high five, uh, John. We were. The Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. Hot good. Hot talk. Eden has one. I don't. I didn't find it in the chapel. You I was didn't? just getting there. Nope. Oh, okay. I tried to steal the cross, <laughs> and I got shot yeah. at. <laughs> yeah, she did try, but didn't quite work. So uh, really quick, Victor says. Yeah. I seem to recall something. There's differentiation between the colors here. What do you think that could mean? My. Well, they told us. Well, no, they didn't. But based on what we've established by marking off what we've got, I think the gray ones mean visiting, and the white ones mean stealing, and the red ones mean combat based on what we've hit so far. Well, me and John passed through the tower, and we didn't, that didn't get checked off. It might not be the right tower. I also don't necessarily, do you think that every single gray one just means stealing? Cause that could be. No, the white ones I think mean stealing. Oh, I yeah, think the white ones. Right. Okay, that's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking if we have gray to take- visit. Gray is visit, yeah. Right, so, yeah, yeah, like discovery new location. Right. I mean, Shion and I didn't find the card in the chapel, but it right, got marked off right. just because we went there, which we should exactly. probably right. go back and try and find that card. It's the closest to here. But the the honey room and the doll room, those are fairly... In the library, Damien, you said it's pretty close, right? That is right. But there's... Wait a minute, but Damien, you came from the library. Well, I but didn't, he didn't find anything. Oh, but oh but yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, you didn't find a card and didn't also. steal anything. Well, Probably I mean, I'll go week. back to the honey room and see what I can find. Do you want to go alone? Let's not go Absolutely alone. Absolutely not. Nobody said anything about that. I'm <laughs> just saying that's where I would like to go. No, somebody's <laughs> coming okay, with me. Just, just make sure. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what you crazy? <laughs> just making sure. Okay. I'm bold, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> We shouldn't split up too much. We should probably only split into like two groups at most. Yeah. I, think I agree. That's best. These I think fractured one... groups 
clearly have not been working. No. Yeah. Well, that's just how we were assigned, but... Yeah, that's so, I, I get it. But. I say we split into two groups. One group to retread those, uh, to investigate those rooms, like the, uh, the honey, the tower, and the, uh, and whatnot, and the other group go and try and find a way to get to the north group and find out what happened there. Okay. Okay. That seemed good? Yeah. I guess I have to, you guys can find these. I think I have to go with that, because I'm only scout. Low table, or high table, uh, you mean the south group, Damien. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops. Oh, so yeah, that's right. Woos was the north. Yeah. I'm gonna give you guys the pictures if that helps. Maybe you get information from it, and then. I think Damien okay. and Wu should probably be part of the group that goes to find Brack's team. The light bearer yeah. and the scout will probably be the best information getters. I agree. All we right. have flux now, also. So. Well, unfortunately, I don't know how much I'll be able to contribute to your little game. Exactly, sure she's you useful, so don't worry about her. Own. You can count on me for moral support while I get to the bottom of this Linquist moral, debacle. Moral support, you say? You take your moral support and shut up your ass. You know what, Flux? My back has been kind of hurting me. Could I get a massage? Sure. Go ahead and lie down on the bed. I was joking, I don't. <laughs> Fox, Falk, what quota haven't they met? What is the quota? Because of the dealing we have with the family, they're supposed to pay us a certain amount of points every month. And for? lately, they've been falling. Well, that's for me to know. Of course. Of course. Money, money, it all is about money! It certainly is. Even an organization like ours needs money. In order Makes to further its research. Did they approach Icy or did Icy approach the Linquist house? We've been working together for so long now. I'm not sure. Father didn't tell me the details, only that he's disappointed. Hmm. Question. Um, our our short rest is thirty minutes, so that would that would put yep. us in the, for another call, right? Yes. I mean, technically, everyone but Whoa. Leaf and Wu haven't met the full short rest because you and Flux Falk just sat and ate chocolate bars. Yeah, he's saying starting now, 30 right. minutes of resting yeah. would get us to another call. Like during, the, yeah. I'm taking my rest as we're talking. Right, right. So right. Saying, what he's saying is by the time that's done, would there be another call, but there's nobody to call. Yeah, we're all in the same room. Yeah, but you know, holding out hope. Maybe Sil Young <laughs> or Laura's out there. We'll find them, bro. Not hey. Wait a minute. I thought there was a trading mechanic. Wait, somebody remind me what the rest rolls were again? Was, uh, yeah. 3d10. 3d10. Yeah. Gotcha. Right, so you only have that, um, you get that back when you do a long rest. Right. And that'll increase later. So, so high table the, talk. Was there yeah. a trading mechanic to trade yes. their people? So, okay. so, so I think people misunderstood the trading mechanic unless okay. you want to. So first you have to find the prison. You all haven't found the prison yet. Gotcha. Once you do find the prison, oh, okay. you are allowed to exchange one of your own members for a member in the prison. You can As in somebody's oh. out so of the prison? So once they're in the prison, they're out, out. Oh. So right. once our so once our people are in the prison, they're they're out of the game completely. Is unless, that what I'm understanding? Uh, unless we unless, send one of our members yeah, in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless yeah. you so trade like, Leaf for Brack. Yeah. Or uh, anybody Brack. for Brack. If, yeah. You can get him out. And I'm assuming okay. that applies to the Linquist family as well. I don't know why they would do that, but I'm, I'm guessing it would. I mean, yeah, probably. I mean, hell, they made the shit. They could probably just do whatever they want. <laughs> oh, okay, so, okay. I understand. The fact that we were actually able to send them to prison, unless they're really rigging the game, which... Yeah, well, I feel like it might be the thing of, like, they'll play along until it starts to become not in their favor and then change the rules, but I could be wrong. Just want to say if Leaf would have been in prison, they was, they was, they was getting him out. <clears throat> yeah, that's, I, I feel like it's, it is, uh, the rules are stacked on us, not necessarily them. Okay. Well, we know what we gotta do. That's so you're planning this all, I'm gonna say 30 minutes go by then, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. All right, uh, your pockets are lighting up. 
All right, I pop. We pop it open, I guess. Yeah, all of us. The five-minute timer is counting down, and you don't hear anything. Mm. Figured as much. Uh. All right. Shira. You suddenly hear what? Shion start mumbling. Shion. Jong like runs over to the bed to like listen to what she's saying. She's lifting up her head. You all right? She opens her eyes. What are you doing here? What? What's going on? She appears to be pretty conscious. Everyone? What? You had us worried there. Do you... Do you remember anything that happened? Sorry. I just remember... Me and Eden fighting that little shit. Oh. There was a train. And I blacked out. She looks over at you, Eden. I'm assuming you handled things. Yeah, I did. Good job. Sorry for holding you back. You didn't hold me back. (sighs) These battles are a lot tougher than they let on. Sorry, what was that? Eden steps out into the hallway. She looks over at you, Jong. Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say, I think you should just stay here and rest for a bit longer. I can't even hardly move. Shit. She kinda just leans back. Take it easy. Stay here, actually. You probably won't, right? You got your own thing to do. Oh, I wouldn't mind staying. In fact, I have to do a bit of research while I'm in here. If If she's gonna stay here, then I'm staying too. John, we need you to actually actively participate in what we're doing. I'm not hey. her in a room with her. Hey, John, says Victor. What? Noticed you uh, don't have any scratches on your body. Be nice if you actually participated. Victor, shut up. No. How about I start I'm by serious. punching your teeth down your throat? No, I'm serious. I am too. I'm willing well, to do what we as a team decide, and I think you should as well. That's my democratic well, input. Victor. Who asked for your input? Can you guys shut up? John, would you rather Shion stay here by herself or have Flux, who is clearly capable and regardless of how twisted she is, is going to do what we want her to do to some capacity, stay here and watch over her? You cannot stay here. We need you. And if you're not willing to participate, then you need to reevaluate your priorities. this is what you really need to do, Zhang, then I understand. You keep her safe. Fine. I'll go. But then Zhang turns to Flux Volk. But I swear to God. Like there's so much as a single hair. I will kill you. <laughs> and that's not a threat. That's a promise. Uh, you kind of scared me a little bit with that. You've gotten better at being intimidating. Don't worry. Don't worry. I have my lighthouses. I'll know if someone's coming. And then Shion just looks at you, Jong, it's, it's, it's okay. It's not okay, Shion, you almost died. <sighs> Come on, it's, it's fine. I'm, you all have things to do, we gotta finish this test. You know, the sooner you get out there and find stuff, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. So they need you. I'm fine. Fine, let's go. And he gets up and heads to the exit of the room. And right as this is happening, suddenly another pocket joins the group call. (gasps) 
You just hear panting on the other end. Hello? Hello? You hear Laura's voice. Laura? Oh. Hello, hello. You, you there? What's going on? Where have you been? Uh, so, I'm sorry to say this. Um, they got Brack. He's captured. I managed to get away with Still Young, but I'm kind of on the run right now. Leaf but not right? Who? How? How could Brack can't lose? He lost to Leaf. He's really strong. Where are he, you? I know he looks like a twink. What? He's in the. She's in the south. I assume. No, I'm in the what? southern. I'm in the south wing. Yeah. South wing. If How far away is he still? Floor. Is he still there? No, Brack's in jail. Him? No, no, Leaf, Leaf. Yeah, he's chasing me right now. If you can meet us in the main hall, we can be there. I can't get to the main hall. There's barriers. We'll come to you. Just keep moving. Get to yeah. the main hall. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally holding on to Sil Young now, and you can hear him on the other end. Please put me down. Just shut up. Okay, yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm kind of hurt, so make it quick, all right? We're going right now. All right. And then she hangs up. Luxfolk, you've been training your whole life for this, all right? Every worksheet, everything, all right? I trust mm -hmm. you. Be good. Be good. Be good to, to, to Shion. She's a really important to me. I would be she very kind of disappointed. Looks at you. Really? She looks back at Shion. How important would you say? Like, really important. <laughs> she's, my, she's my friend. She means the world to me. She looks Fox back at Shion. Okay. Looks at You're you. not making this any better, Damien. Look, what he's trying to say is she's part of the team. If you want to be part of the team, you need to protect her. Damien's feelings aside, I'm sure he likes you way more than he likes her. Right, Damien? I want to hear you say it, Damien. Oh. Guys, are we going to talk or are we going to go? Shut up, Ji Jong. You shut up. <laughs> What's the question again? You like Fluxbulk more than you like Xion, right? There's, what? Just <laughs> say yes. What? That's so messed up. I can't choose between two friends. That's a lot. Of that. That's a lot. You're all children. All right, Zhang, Zhang. You don't. It's uh, Zhang. I'll say Zhang. whatever I want to say. You idiot. Zhang. Where, where? What? Let's go. Okay? Let's go. You're with me. Damien, you're coming with me too. Victor, Eden, Leaf, you guys go together and investigate the, the other rooms. You said Victor, Leaf, and who? Eden. Well, okay. she's not here. She's in the hall, she said. But I think she came back, right? Mm -mm. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. Sorry. Now you're good. Yeah. Victor, so team Victor Leaf, yeah, you guys go with Eden. Go investigate the rooms and see if we can figure out this bingo thing. Jong, me, Damien, we're going to find Laura. And I, I see what I, I see what I did wrong as we're like leaving the room. I see what I did wrong. You're important to me too, Flux Volk. Don't mistake that. It's it's. You know, we we I was really scared for Shion. I'm glad you're back, by the way. She doesn't say anything. She just looks at you. Oh man. All right, let's go. Okay. You split, Victor wishes you luck, Woo, and you head in your separate direction. So at this point, uh, we can pull up the map, but I'm going to say if you just want to jump to a certain area, just let me know. You've unlocked fast travel is what I'm trying to say, uh, nice. for the most part, unless you encounter something on the way. So is there... They're coming from the south, you said, right? They're in the south wing currently. Yes, can okay. we take us as close to the south wing as we can possibly get? Yeah. Sure. Everyone grab on, grab on to me, and I put my finger in my forehead, and I use instant transmission. <laughs> 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 okay. You all uh, end up making it to the balcony. You you pass through the rooms, the honey room, all that stuff. You you make it to um to the balcony um, on the eastern side. Let's see. And that barrier is no longer there. So the We're one on the, the north side. One on the oh. right, right. So oh. we would be coming in from the right. So, so can, I'll get rid of those pass through, We can pass through the barrier and go to Just the southern wing. Not the southern barrier. That one is still up. Like the bottom right, right? Yep. Yes. Okay. 
What's what? What does that barrier say on the bottom? I think that's trade the one trade regular. one. Yeah, yeah. So like, if Laura comes in through that way, she has to come in, but then we have to send someone like, you know, right through. Well, we can we can all trip. We're not gonna find. Nobody came across the prison either. I think we need to find that. Oh wait, she has Siliong too, though, right? Yeah. We Does that mean it would be two, two for two? We can trade two, but we still won't know where the prison is, and all we'll be doing is trading two of us to fight Leaf again, who's chasing them. Which might be helpful in the long run, but... Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I mean. If we came here for Laura, like, that's... That's the obstacle we have to deal with first, is getting her and Celiong and potentially, you know, Leaf out of the... You know, okay. getting that whole well, thing taken care of. We got 30 minutes to the call or Laura shows up here. We can at least try and explore a little bit more until they get here um is there anywhere to go i mean other than into one of the well we can only go north wing from here right yeah um now we haven't fully explored the north wing right well okay so i shouldn't i shouldn't say just that because you also have the stairs that lead you to the center area now oh uh, which would take us back to the throne room etc yeah mm-hmm Okay, so you're saying you want to explore the northern wing? I want to explore, like, maybe we can... Because, like, if we have to wait here, if we cannot proceed south, yeah. mm -hmm. we might as well try and find some information until either Laura gets here or we have another call to tell her that we're here. Okay. So you basically are you're waiting until the next call, see what you can do until then. Yeah. Right. So, uh, sounds good. Um... Other Joe had to go, so I'll be taking over for Damien. I won't be talking or anything, but if any roles or whatever we got to do, I will handle those for Joe. So uh, yeah, we, we'll be going for another like half an hour or something, and then we'll we'll call it good. So I mean, if you want, you switch to the other group then. Yeah, sure, we'll we'll do that. But I do want to do some stuff with your group too, just a few things. Yeah. So okay, so currently Eden, Victor, and Shion, you are. In the Leaf. East Wing. Not Sorry, Leaf. Yes, she wants to stay with Fluxvalk. Oh, joy. So oh you... Boy. Where would you like to head? Uh, I think first we need to go to the chapel and find that card because that is the closest room and something we didn't cover. Um, okay. I think that's first line of business and then sure. library and then honey room. That's kind of my plan of order. Is that... Sure. Chapel first. Seems then. to be the fastest way. Yeah, chapel first. Got you. Okay. Perfect. You head to the chapel and you're able, it's very, it's pretty close by. So you're able to make it there. And on the way, Victor asks questions about the fight. I'm, you know, I'm assuming you're able to discuss those details. Yeah. Uh, we got Leaf and Victor. Okay. The three of you make it inside the chapel. It's as creepy looking as you remember. You mm. have the, the Jihad cross is still there. Uh, you see the creature standing majestically that's kind of unclear to make out and just a variety of other statues and things and pews okay. and benches but now that i know what i'm looking for we're looking for cards in here um right right so go ahead and roll investigation okay okay <laughs> oh my gosh leaf is not good okay leaf and victor are helpless so this is all on you <laughs> that's good because i rolled a dirty 20. all right all right Ah, children. So you're, you're, you're searching around. You're checking out the statues. <laughs> it's just like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> you're searching around, and honestly, like everything in here is pretty large. Uh, the statues, the the various symbols. There's even a couple portraits that you didn't notice that were kind of in the back uh, mm -hmm. of landscapes. Uh, one of them has like the crystal beams on there, uh, and. But overall, you don't find anything other than the Jihad Cross that is really like something you could pick up. And you're doing, you feel like you did a really good job of scouring this area. Uh, are we sure that there's a card here? I don't know. Let's keep moving. Let's go to the library. Okay. You head to the library. Weirdly enough, on the nearest table, you see a few chocolate bar wrappers that you're a little, you're not sure what's going on there. But aside from that, you see a huge library, all the bookshelves and bookcases and all that. Okay. Um, any books that stick out in particular? 
Eden would be specifically okay. looking for a book about like the Lindquist lineage. Ah, okay. Go ahead and roll investigation. Okay. Also, I have a above the table question. Yeah. The, the three cars that we found, were they found in the locations that they're marked on the bingo book? No. No. I didn't. I didn't think so. I think you just find cards and then you use them. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't necessarily. Mean I just wanted there. to double check the theory. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm. I, Cause I got confused. I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You're good. You're good. That it doesn't have to be. Yeah. Cool. 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 Sounds good. Okay. Fifteen for me. Okay. So you and Victor rolled fairly high. You're you're scouring around, and because you are specifically looking for this book, this this Lindquist family lineage book, you end up making your way onto this right here, onto okay. the upper floor where there's these ladders, and you notice that this section has a lot of older books, and Victor ends up making his way towards there as well, and looking for something in particular? Looking for a lineage book, something that would learn mm. something about their family. Okay, okay. He starts looking around, and it takes you a few minutes, time is starting to go by, but then Victor says, hey, right here. And he finds a book, huge, just a thick book with all kinds of information. It's still there, he hasn't pulled it out yet. And it says, it's pretty much, yeah, like the eternal heritage of the Lindquist family. Hmm. This one looks a little too big to steal. Um, can I look through it real quickly and just skim to see yeah. like if it's like birth records or like family okay. tree stuff? Sure. So okay. let, me, let me make sure I have this right. I want to make sure I'm okay. not. Uh... Okay, so you pull the book out. It's pretty darn heavy, it's dusty. You kind of mm -hmm. blow off some dust there and he's looking through it with you and the information is super, just like family trees, lineages, you know, it's some of it's kind of hard to read. Mm -hmm. But the I'm keeping an eye out. You, oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah, go ahead. You know, what, we, what were we gonna say? I'm curious. I was gonna say, she's specifically keeping an eye out for any uh, mention of the Yeon family. Okay. Because yep. of Mila being part of this whole thing. Or sure. seeing her at the thing. Okay. You do see a brief mention of the Yon family, but it, it was a long time ago. A member of the Yon family married into the Linquist family. Hmm. But based on your observations, it doesn't trace to the current day bloodline. Got it. Um, it was like a, a cousin that married a, a Yon. Got it. That was a few hundred years ago. Okay. So when you make it to present day, Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any of the kids. The kids seemingly are not included yet. Okay. But you do see the lineage kind of come down, and you see three little lines. Mm -hmm. And it looks as if one, you know, one of them says Signe, it says Roar, and then the other one looks to be scratched out. Mm. That's the most interesting thing you find in the book. Okay. Well, that's odd. Okay, does it mention any of Signe's previous husbands? Or potential oh. husbands? Yeah, so it, it does say, uh, it actually, by the time this was written, it does have her husband uh, written down. Uh, let me make sure I have this right. Uh, Orf is the name. What is it? Orf. Okay. Or, and what's the current one? O R F, Orf. Orf. That's the current one you said. That's all it says. That's, that's all the it only says. Name. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, anything for war or the one that's scratched out? Nope. Nope. Okay. She just takes a quick picture of that with the pocket. Okay. Um, let's find a small book to just try and steal and see what happens. A small book? Yeah. Something easily carryable. Uh, okay, sure. He starts picking out books. You start picking up books. Go ahead and roll investigation one more time. Okay. And something that would potentially be interesting. Uh, Got 21. You. 21. All right. So as you're scouring the books, you're looking around, you find a few interesting things, actually. This bookshelf seems to have... Because the older books, mm -hmm. the topics are... It's hard to understand what they are, but there is one book that seems to not fit this, fit this like 
old description. And it was at the tippy top of one of these sections. Mm -hmm. And let me make sure I have this right. And when you pull that out, the bingo sheet doesn't get updated, but mm -hmm. you do notice that behind that book, there appears to be a little switch. Hmm. Can I investigate for traps or look for traps around the switch? Uh, yes, roll, uh... Like perception, maybe? Or yeah, perception would be fine. Perception, okay. Uh, 18. There's no trap associated with this switch, as far as you can tell. All right. Victor, do you think I should switch it on? Go for it. All Nothing right. Nothing to lose. Unless the whole thing she, le she leans to the side, so like in case okay. it does shoot something out, sure. and she'll she'll flick it. When you press the switch, suddenly one of the bookshelves starts to back away from you, mm. and it moves slowly to the side, and it reveals a little path through the bookshelf. Use Zelda music. <laughs> Victor just shakes his head. Of course, there's a secret passageway behind the bookshelf. Very creative. Hmm. Should we investigate or should we go to the honey room? I think we should investigate. Might as well. Hey, Leaf, how you doing? Uh, I think I might be onto something. Give me a minute. Well, uh, we shouldn't split up. You go on ahead. I'll go see what Leaf's doing. Just, just see what the passage is all about. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. He uh, makes his way over to Leaf, and you realize that this passage, it's much less furnished. It looks like the, the walls are much more natural than the other hallways you've been through. Mm -hmm. And it kind of seems to be taking you down a little bit. Down, okay. And along the path, suddenly, you start to realize that this path meets up with another path back near your room. And there's nothing else of note. It's just a shortcut, basically. That's what it appears to be. So I roll investigation again to investigate nothing. Oh, well, that's not very good. Nine. <laughs> there we go. Nine? Okay, so it seems weird. It seems like it's a pointless passageway, and you feel as if you're missing something hmm. as you're walking back and forth. And then you hear cheers coming from the library. Eden bolts back. Okay. You bolt back, and you see Victor and Leaf running towards you, and Victor is just nodding. Leaf did a good job. And you notice that they turned off the lights in the room, uh, so it's pretty dark, and she holds out a book that glows in the dark. Oh. And your bingo sheet is updated. Oh, uh, okay, 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 Leaf. I see you. I noticed something was kind of off about this one. It reminded me of some of the lakes me and Wu would visit back when we were training. All right. How about you, Eden? Did you find anything? So it's, a, it's like a passageway that loops back around, but I feel like I'm missing something. Okay, okay, fair enough. But... I don't know if we want to take the time to investigate quickly, or we should move to the honey room. We got a lot Victor, of ground to cover. He walks through the hallway and then he turns around. Oh! And he peels something off of the ceiling of this, like the big entrance of this little hallway. Look, and he holds up a card. <sighs> Eden, Eden, it's okay. It, you you did your best. Off. You know she it happens. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go to the honey room. All right, sounds good. We'll cut to the other team heading north. All right. All right, I'm gonna copy a couple tokens here. So we have Jong, we have Damien, and we, oh wait, perfect, we have the tokens already here. Okay. So you walk into the ballroom. Well, while we wait, there was this dining room over here that seems suspicious. You wanna come check it out with me? Yeah, sure. Got nothing else to do. All right. Maybe you'll see something I didn't. I just found it very strange. But there's more wine there, so there's a reason for me to go. 
Okay. <laughs> you end up making your way towards the dining room. And you find all the dolls lined up. Just as you found it before, Wu. Yep, this so, is it. Jong, you notice, you see your doll as well. Uh, and because it catches your attention, roll investigation for me, uh, both, uh, both of you. Ooh, 19. Okay. I got a seven. Oh. So it's, uh, okay, okay, so. I got you, bro. You, you still, you understood the room just based on your previous time in here, but Jong, when you go to examine your doll, the, the likeness of you, you notice there's something kind of off about it. A little bit weird. Uh, Other than it, the fact that it's a doll of me. <laughs> right. Be <laughs> you seem to have a really big smile on your face. Like you're having, I don't know, they drew this really big smile. And you notice when you kind of touch it and examine it, there's something rattling around, moving around in there. Inside the doll? Yeah. Uh, Woo. Yeah. I think there might be something more to these dolls than you thought. What do you mean? What do you find? I'm gonna kind of approach this doll. If I if I examine the rest of the dolls, like, are the expressions on the other ones like, like out of I guess out of character, like not, or do they all just like have that same? So smile? okay, as, as you're checking out these dolls. Like, Damien's is kind of goofy just because of his outfit. It's the same outfits you wore on that banquet. Mm -hmm. But the the strange thing about it is mostly your doll, Jung. That's the main one that sticks out to you. Oh, boy, great. I think there's something inside it. Wait, are you saying it's a pinata? I love pinatas! <laughs> All right, well, before you go whacking at a doll that looks like me... Let's do a little more I'm investigation. I'm not going to take any enjoyment out of it. I just like <laughs> it. It has nothing to do with you, buddy. But if I aim for the face, you know. Probably. If you aim for the face, I'm going to hit your face. Relax. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, what is what is the doll like made out of? Is it like a? Okay, yours is much more like porcelain. Very fragile. Oh, my, mine's even made like different made than. Yeah, like the other. So Wu's Wu's also was pretty nicely made. Um, when I knocked mine over though, it didn't break or anything. No, Fine. so it wasn't as fragile, right? Yours, Jong, seems to be the most well made of the bunch. Mm. Well, for starters, there's a noticeable difference in quality between my doll and the rest of them. I think that uh, your admirer set this room up. Why though? What does this mean? I mean, I think here, I I, I kind of want to just break the statue. <laughs> <laughs> David just kind of shrugs. Why not? Yeah, let me see, let me see if I notice. I'm gonna roll investigation one more time. If I notice, like, can I move? Anything with the positions or anything with the table arrangement to do it. How about this? If you scan it with your observer, would you be able to pick up anything that, like, we wouldn't nah. just by looking at it? Well, maybe. I don't think that's one of my observer's abilities, though. My observer is pretty basic. I can illuminate darkness. Uh, that's... That's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can right. project stuff, you know? All right, then you know what? It's pretty basic for now, yeah. Uh, Fuck it. Let's break it. Okay. Very cool. You want to do the honors, bro? You gonna hit your own face? <laughs> Jong sort of looks at the doll of himself. Here goes nothing, and lifts it and smashes it against the floor. All right, you smash the doll into pieces, and they fly everywhere. And yeah, there was something inside of it. You see a very small, fleshy substance. Fleshy item and a note. <gasps> Jong picks the note up. It says mine. Oh no! Yo! I think your hunch was absolutely right. Uh, yeah, I'm just peering over your shoulder. I'm like, mm -hmm. in the most horrific way possible. 
God, we should have killed him when we had the chance. He is a sick one. I'll give you that. This whole family is fucked. Uh, Damien points out the other item and what that could be. Um, do we have to like roll investigation and figure yeah. it out? You can if you want. Okay. Yeah. If you don't want to like, sure, go for it. All right, six. I'm not figuring out what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got, I got a ten. I'm not figuring it. Out. Okay, you ha you're gonna have to like pick it up and closely examine it, and then you'll probably be able to figure out what it is. But you can't tell just from looking at it as it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll touch it. No okay, who's going in? Uh, okay, you pick this thing up. It fits in the palm of your hand, but you you quickly realize that. It is a small creature's once beating heart. Yep. That's what I Ew. It's not beating in my hand, right? It's not beating in your hand, no. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> Wait a minute. So above the table, Josh, I just wanna just wanna <laughs> summarize like what we've witnessed here. <laughs> Go for so it. there's a dead heart of a once alive animal that mm -hmm. was trapped inside a porcelain doll. Yeah. Of Zhang. Yep. That was smiling. Yep. Amongst a bunch of other dolls we created to match the banquet scene that we had. Yeah. All made by Astrid. I mean, I, I didn't say that. Most likely made Joseph, by Astrid. Okay. okay. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. <laughs> all right. We're all, the, we're all looking Calm at down. the same card here. But, I mean, I, uh, sorry, go ahead, Millions. I was going to say, is just trying to say that you're the cowardly line of the group, you know? You need a heart. <laughs> No. I don't think that's what that's implying. <laughs> yeah, that's totally what it's implying. If we're doing Wizard of Oz, I'm just trying to like kick my heels and go home because I don't like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> if we're doing Wizard of Oz, I'm just trying to not stay. What happened? It's, so now that I'm holding the heart, can I investigate it? Like, so I did want to say that when you did pick up the heart, the bingo sheet gets updated. Oh. Oh. Oh, Boom. that's right, there was a heart. Oh, I was going to ask shit. about that, because I noticed right. that was a heart. I literally completely well, I, I don't have to keep, Do I have to keep the heart? You better not keep yeah. the heart. I think I have to keep the heart. <laughs> Damien, keep, keep the heart. Can I put the heart in my gourd? I don't want to hold it. Yes, you can. You can put it. You want to put the heart in the gourd you drink out of? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. You, it's... It's hard to explain right now, John. It's right. complicated. You know what? No, you don't. You don't have to go into any more explanation. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's <laughs> good. Well. All right. Well, that seemed to work out as yeah. creepy as it was. Now let's get the actual hell out of this room as fast as possible, if you don't mind. I'm right behind you as I take a couple glasses to go. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> Snag a couple real quick. Alright. Call it ten, twelve, right? Sure, you uh you leave the room. I would say that I don't know what exactly Damien would say there, but he would have made some kind of comment about his uh <laughs> his doll, I'm sure. You can make you can I'm imagine sure in your mind. Maybe he would have made many comments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he would have. <laughs> um, use your imagination. But uh okay, you're back in the ballroom. Uh, how much time has passed since we did that little exploration? Maybe like 10 minutes? I'm gonna say 15. Walking all the way through the east wing, into the north wing. Okay, we have another 15. There's nothing north. We never went through that door, right? Where we fought Roar? Nope. Oh, the one on the left here? Yeah, we can go check that out. There's two doors you haven't been through in that area. Right. We can go check those out. Okay. You, you head towards there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we came from the bottom, right? Like south? Yeah. Yes. Like, okay, okay, yeah. So let's go left. Yeah. Okay, you make it. Alright, so before we were confronted with that madman, we were gonna try both doors. We should just do that now. You mean like at the same time? Well, for some reason Victor was too weak to open the one up top. You you should give that one a try. Okay. <laughs> I'll check out this other view. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So, will you head south? Damien goes with John, we'll say. Uh, John, you open it with ease. I mean, there's nothing blocking, you know, it's just, you open the door. 
Yeah, it's because I'm stronger. You can say it. It's fine. We all know. <laughs> Roar, Roar was holding it close <laughs> last time. Nah, I, I don't remember history. all that. Thank you, yeah, Hannah. I, mean, I, I didn't want to say anything. Welcome. We're doing a history now. Come on. Let's all get our facts straight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know, man. We are struggling. Who knows what's happening on the other side? <laughs> right. Right. Oh, of this is what I'm saying. <laughs> of course. All right. Well, you enter the room then, Jong, and you... We're gonna call it Roar's room. So you, when you walk in, you this is by far the strangest room you you've seen, because well, you don't have to top the dining hall, bro. Because there, I just found a dead that is true. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to presume. So this uh, is a strange room, because it's a room. It's not that big, but the wallpaper is all depicting like trees and tall grass and mountains and all kinds of nature-like things. And then in the room. Instead of carpet, it is grass. Just the entire thing is grass. You see some trees that have grown, small little trees with branches poking out of them. And you see various animal pelts and uh, taxidermied animals in the room as well. Uh, Monkeys like in the trees and uh, all kinds of things. Yeah, there's a tree branch on the big uh, car. See if you can do anything with that. Weird, but it's surprisingly on theme for Roar. And then, woo, the door you open leads into a hallway, which leads to another door. I'm gonna set my observer down. I'm not gonna go down myself. Do you wanna, so, do you wanna open the second room? Oh, I have to open another door first? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right, the door opens. Oops, and it reveals a big room with a lot of beds empty beds seemingly but you see like on top of each of these beds like neatly placed on these neatly made beds is a maid outfit what <laughs> I thought I was muted. <laughs> no, you're good. You're, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Oh man, that you was, spoke I mean, what we were all thinking. Yeah, and you said it better than I could have. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Okay. Can I just investigate the outfits? I mean, are they? Wait, hold on, hold on. Are, are they female made outfits? Yes. They are skirts. I'm gonna investigate the skirts. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and roll investigation for me, Woo. This is all for the sake of uh Oh, the let's test, go. Of course. Yeah, yeah, of, course. of course. Yeah, of course. Research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Of course. Right, right, right. Yeah. That's a twenty that's a twenty-one. <laughs> Hold on, uh, you gotta show me that roll. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> So, okay. That was a 30. <laughs> and are going to be booming this week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, okay, great. So, so you're exploring this area, exploring this room, checking out the different made outfits, you know. Uh, they seem to be made of very high quality. Uh, and you can tell that they've been freshly washed recently. Um... The time to do. What's going on? And however, you do notice one thing. There's mm-hmm. one bigger bed in the center, mm-hmm. and there's no maid skirt on that bed. Okay, I'm gonna take one of the other maid skirts and put it on that bed. Okay, nothing happens. I'm gonna take one of the maid skirts and take it with me. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and add that to your inventory. I heard you put that in the gourd too. (laughs) I already already had. No, 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 no. no. Actually, maybe, maybe. If I I don't want to hold it, I might. Yeah. Yeah, that would be weird. Stuff in the gourd. (laughs) (laughs) All right, roll perception, woo. All right. My perception is good. Fourteen. You feel like you're a bit distracted, but you do feel someone's presence entering the room. Mm. Oh, jeez. And you hear a woman's voice say, what are you doing? Can we just get one minute? Oh my god. Uh, I was just taking a look around. All right, you turn and you see a very beautiful lady 
in a very professional looking maid outfit with long dark purple hair and she's standing there staring at you with a very kinda, serious I kinda, expression i just kind of point at the bed and point at her is this, is this uh your your bed it would be indeed step away please i am so sorry um you know i there's this whole haunt test thing and i just happened to stumble upon this ruda i saw these I, I didn't she know on, she so. turns and closes the door leaving just the two of you in there oh, oh no me! so <laughs> Do we hear that? <laughs> um, roll perception. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> this man about to go against oh, the battle with the super hot maids. We gotta help him. <laughs> Dude, I've, I've been rolling for Damien three twos. Three twos in a row. Look at that. All right, well, you're screwed. You I want me to take over rolling for Damien? <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all you good. You sure? We're fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my god. It's fine. Okay. Uh, did you? Would roll you roll, John? I rolled a six, so he's he's trapped. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna take anything. I'm gonna take the maid outfit out of the gourd and be like, would it be better if I put this on and like, we're cool? I can help clean. I'm I'm, I'm pretty good at cleaning. <laughs> she looks at you like you're the weirdest person she's ever met. <laughs> a very fair reaction. <laughs> No, okay. I, I'll just, I'll just put this back. I put the, I put the maid outfit back on the bed that I got it from. Now I'm supposed to meet somebody, so if you don't mind, I'm just gonna go. Yeah, and you can stay here. She reaches into her outfit, and she pulls out two knives that are connected by a string. Oh, no. She's a battle oh, mage. Oh, no, 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 no! Don't do that! Don't oh, this do some that. Kill Bill -ish, bro. Um, you're lucky, my other. Maids aren't here right now. Oh, there's more of you. Oh boy. Look around you. You see all these beds? Yeah. This but is where have, we stay. But, and but you're you intreating on our quarters. Wait, you have a bigger bed, so I'm assuming what, what's your name? If you don't mind me asking, I mean I'm already here. You're already gonna kill I'm me. the head maid of the Linquist family. My name is Sif. Nice to meet you, Sif. <sighs> I'm just gonna go ahead and assume you're worth some points in this sick game that they're playing. Go ahead and make whatever assumptions you want to make. And well, if that's the case, stance, I think it's time to send you to the prison. If that's the case, mm -hmm. I'm right where I want to be. <laughs> okay. May I have this dance? <laughs> she turned in the room. Ooh, got oh, trapped with ninja maids, bro. She, okay, we're gonna bri <laughs> briefly. We're gonna cut to. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, here's what we're gonna do. So right before that, right as that is happening, we're gonna cut back to Brack. So Brack, you are you are in the jail cell. You're sitting there, whittling a bar of soap. <laughs> Shoot, I wish if I could move. <laughs> is there is there like something you want to be doing like during all this time that you're just there alone? During this time, I want to make sure that I'm doing my very absolute best to annoy Roar. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Is he the, is this he the is the constant we signed up for. No, no, no. He's not the new bulwark, but he turned out my proposition. He got to pay. Oh, <laughs> he got to pay when you mess that, with the syndicate. That is fair. Okay, okay. So, so... Roar, he tries to, you can look at him and you notice he's trying to take a nap. His eyes are closed, he's leaning up oh. against the wall. Foolish Roar. Mm. Roar. <laughs> Roar. <laughs> Roar. I am mighty Roar. Can you, can you hear me? What is it, Double B? Just call me Baby. But... That's yeah, <laughs> the person who came in here, would you happen to know who they are? Ugh, of course I do, but why would I tell you? You, you demanded that we, you asked that we spare your life for when we, of course, inevitably win this competition. I mean, you know, the syndicate can do many things, Roar. Sparing your life could be one, Roar. Did I get my point across, Roar? Or should I just continue to say Roar? Roar. <laughs> and then you hear Bo say, SHUT UP! Hey, kid. 
If you do not sit your pincushion self over there in the corner and mind your mind your manners, grown folks are talking. <laughs> Uncle Roar, can I have a toy? Uncle, Uncle Roar can't save you now. Uncle Roar can't save you now. Just go over there in the corner, lick your wounds like a good little boy, and me and your uncle will continue to talk. He starts, he starts crying. You're making him cry. Nobody cares about you, little <laughs> Lim Lim. Now, Roar. Who was that person, Roar? That person! There's someone who works for the family. That's an answer by not giving an answer, Roar. I need a name, Roar. Skulker. Kim Skulker. Who in the... <clears throat> Kim Skulker. So, Roar, one, one last question. Why was she trying to rob me? <laughs> uh, let me take a nap and then I'll answer that question. Uh, he kicks his legs up. Rob. <laughs> Rob. He's trying to ignore you and just keeps his eyes all closed. But at this point, the person in all the armor starts to wake up. <sighs> Where in the? Where He's am bald, I? Bald, crack. He's bald. Um, it's the Tin Man himself waking up. <laughs> tin Man, do you have a brain? <laughs> That's the Scarecrow. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, where am I? Looks like I was defeated. I'm sorry. Cut. And then suddenly Roar just socks him in the face. He gets sent, uh, sent flying into the wall. <laughs> Now, Raw, why would you go and harm a perfectly good inter interrogate So you're like telling that? me, y'all, that you couldn't send someone to prison, even though you were sent here? How'd your fight go, huh? Let me guess. What she a failure as always. Bro. Ugh, he just shakes his head. And y'all. the first one sent here? <laughs> <laughs> Accurate observation. Accurate Very much observation. the definition, man. <laughs> and y'all just says, S -s -s sorry, cousin. <laughs> I always knew you were a waste of the name. He goes to take a nap. Roll perception, Brack. Oh. Come I'm on, Brack. I've been practicing. I've been Big practicing. Money. Big money. Big money. Big money, no whammies. Do a little bit of this. Do Big bit money, of this. Joe. <laughs> it's cursed. Oh, yeah. I can't hear that. Uh, I just see Voltorbs flipping in my mind. I mean, yeah, you know, it, it, it don't even matter. No. I don't even need to add to it. It's a four. I ain't even gonna add. It, it's it's insulting. It's a four. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, Jeez, Brack. okay. okay, okay. Brack glasses. I was Fair rolling enough. good during the practice rolls. I don't know. I hate it. Here. <laughs> did you but just yeah, roll something good? Yeah, I did. No! <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's, I don't think you'll... It's fine. Okay, so... So... You, you're just so caught up in trying to bother Roar and, and everything that's happening that you don't even realize it until this person is right in front of you. But suddenly, your jail cell starts to open up and you're taken aback. Mm -hmm. But the footsteps that are entering do not seem to be the ones from before. Instead, you you've, in the darkness, you're, you're able to make out a familiar face you see Lord Signe herself enter the jail cell. Ooh. Well, things just got Why? interesting. My lord, my lord, <laughs> I was harmed in your humble castle. Can you, can you please spare a healing potion? She reaches we'll take down and she grabs your face, and squeezes it. Whoa, whoa, That's right, my lord, whoa. give me a kiss. <laughs> You know what? I just want to reiterate that Brack is just messing with the whole family. Of course. <laughs> of course. If it was Lewis, it'd be a different story, but Brack, you know, it's jokes. <laughs> no, I learned my lesson. I don't want to kiss from her. <laughs> <laughs> she squeezes you, and then she just raises her hand, and she just slaps you across the face. 
Oh, oh right. it hurts oh. like it hurts like hell. Ah, I see you take me for your son. And then she slaps you again. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. <laughs> now call me Sir Linquist. <laughs> Cut the commercial. Cut the commercial. <laughs> we got. We gotta get out of here. This is. <laughs> We've broken Joe. Joe is. You Joe sign is up fun. for this, bro. This is scary. <laughs> <clears throat> so she she slaps you one last time across the face. You're you're. It's starting to sting. Oh man. And then she just looks in your face, dead in the eyes, and says. Does I see her mean to you? Oh. And with that, we're gonna end today. No, you can't episode. do that. So oh. Oh. What does I mean? What's it mean to you? Miss we're gonna end it's today's okay. episode. It's okay. it's okay though. It's okay though. You know, I just want to say, you know, above the table, Brack spits on the ground and he just goes. <laughs> he just laughs maniacally because he knows it. He has no clue what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's totally fair. <laughs> That is, that is fair. Oh my god. Uh, dude, I was trying to set up like a serious little ending there. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm no, sorry. I'm kidding. I'm totally joking. I don't know. It was great. It was set up totally great. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, plans kind of, you know, had to change a little bit. Joe had to dip out. But uh, aside from that, you know, great session. It was all good. Uh, yeah, the Linquist hunt is, is underway. Uh, the bingo sheet is being filled. Honestly, hey, it's looking pretty clean, actually. Yeah. Now, I, mean, I know where that maid. Yeah, I know where that maid outfit goes. So, just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. gotta figure out what to do. <laughs> oh, I, just gotta, I gotta send her to jail. Well, I, I, yeah, that is the task in verbal form. <laughs> I mean, I can, I, can, I can do some other stuff while I'm doing that. But. Right. But, uh, however, you get the bingo chip is on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chip. <laughs> what happens in the main chamber stays in the main chamber. <laughs> <laughs> Rule number one. Great stuff. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Appreciate you sticking around. Like the video before you go. And remember that we'll be live again next week uh, as we continue this test. There's going to be a couple uh, couple things that happen next week that you won't want to miss. A couple of uh, things I have prepared. So oh. definitely stick around for that. I'm really excited about it. Really excited. So can't wait for that. Uh, thank you to the cast. Go follow them. Their links are down below. And make sure you join the Discord if you want to submit your own uh, memes and fan art and all that stuff. But with that being said, we'll see you next Friday for the next episode of Towers and Gods. Take care, everybody. Bye. And because Joe's in night. here, who will live? Who will die? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 yes.